Tua wito kwa taasisi za mafunzo ya kiusalama kuzindua mafunzo yanayoweza kukabili changamoto za kiusalama zikiwemo zileza ujangili. Kiongozi wa taifa alisema hayo katika chuo cha mafunzo ya kijeshi huko Karen hapa Nairobi wakati wa hafla ya kufuzu kwa maafisa sabini wa usalama aliwapongeza wanajeshi wa KDF kwa kujitolea kazini kuwalinda raia taifa la Kenya na kushiriki kwenye harakati za kudumisha amani katika kanda hii. Chuo cha kitaifa cha mafunzo ya kijeshi leo kimeandaa hafla yake ya 25 ya kufuzu iliyohudhuriwa na Rais William Ruto akisitiza haja ya kuchunguzwa upya kwa mafunzo yanayotolewa katika chuo hicho kukabiliana na changamoto zilizoko za kiusalama kiongozi wa taifa aliongeza kuwa mafunzo maalum pia yatawapa maafisa wa usalama ujuzi wa kutambua na kutoa suluhu kwa changamoto za kiusalama nchini This distinguished NDC alumni continue to influence and promote the development of organizations and policy necessary to enhance and harness available national capacity and to determine realistic and practical ways and means of achieving national objectives through synergies and collaborations across government and public sector in the wider context of national security and national interest. Rais Ruto alikariri mpango wa serikali kuimarisha mafunzo katika juhudi za kabla na matatizo ya kiusalama yanayokumba taifa hili. Numerous alumni have risen to become principal secretaries and heads of such discipline services such as the National Police Service, the Kenya Prison Service, Kenya Wildlife Service in Kenya as well as other organizations in Eastern Africa and the broader region at large. Kiongozi wa taifa alisema chuo hicho cha mafunzo ya kijeshi kitapokea vifaa vya kutoa mafunzo kwa maafisa zaidi wa ngazi za juu nchini huku akitoa wito kwa wizara idara za umma pamoja na mashirika ya umma kushirikiana kwa karibu na chuo hicho. I also wish to urge the Ministry of Defence to prioritize the expansion of the college facilities to meet the growing demand. Na wawakilishi wa Kenya kwanza katika mazungumzo ya maridhiano wamewahimiza wenzao wa azimio kusita kutoa shinikizo za matakwa zaidi na kurejelea mazungumzo hayo uh, mwenyekiti mwenza wa mashauriano hayo George Murugara amemkosoa mwenyekiti mwenza utiende ya Molo kwa kushindwa kuzingatia taratibu zilizoko kabla ya kuchukua hatua ya kusitisha mashauriano hayo kwa muda wa siku saba muungano wa Kenya kwanza umejitolea kushughulikia matakwa mapya ya azimio kufikia leo Kikosi cha Kenya Kwanza katika kamati ya mazungumzo ya maridhiano kimechukua tu ya kunusuru mazungumzo ambayo yangedidimizwa kwa muda wa siku tano iwapo mashauriano hayangefanyika by the Azimio side invoking clause 27 clause 37 of the framework agreement is actually premature Mrengo wa Azimio 1 Kenya kupitia mwenyekiti wake Otende Amolo ulikuwa umechukua hatua ya kusitisha mazungumzo wakishinikiza kukomeshwa kwa uvamizi wa vyama tanzu vya muungano wa azimio haswa kile cha jubilee Kenya kwanza must make no mistake that azimio will do everything possible to protect its affiliate parties from these heinous attacks those allegations and in the response we will give a detailed answer as to exactly what possibly said Kenya Kwanza has done and we will be saying whether we have done it or we've not done it and whether we have the capacity to do it and under what parameters we will do it upinzani umedumisha kuwa upande wa serikali ni sharti uashirie kuwa uko tayari kushauriana katika mazungumzo ya kina hata hivyo upande wa Kenya Kwanza umesema wenzao wa azimio hawajaonyesha ni njema kwenye mazungumzo hayo lakini umesisitiza kuwa hakuna migogoro isiyokuwa na suluhu we do not believe there are irreconcilable differences and that in fact we should now go to close 34d so that the matter can actually be discussed huku makata ya siku 30 ikikaribia kukamilika mwenyekiti wa kikosi cha Kenya kwanza ameashiria kurefushwa kwa muda wa makata ya mazungumzo hayo iwapo pande zote hazitaafikiana 
I'm also inviting my co-chair for this meeting on Monday afternoon so that we are able to thrash out any issues that are in contention. We will also be seeking guidance from the respective leaders. Yeah, by phone. Thank you very much. Na polisi hapo jana walikabiliana na wafuasi wa aliyekuwa kiongozi wa kundi la Mwingiki Maina Njenga nje ya makao makuu ya kitengo cha upelelezi ya DCI. Kundi hilo lilikuwa likishinikiza kwa chiliwa huru kwa Maina Njenga aliyekuwa amejiwasilishwa kwa maafisa wa kitengo baada ya kuagizwa kufanya hivyo. My ministry Polisi walirusha vitu wa machozi kuwatawanya wafuasi waliokuwa kiongozi wa kundi la Mungiki Maina Njenga waliokusudia kuandamana hadi jumba la mazingira jijini Nairobi. Kundi hilo lilimba nyimbo kudhihirisha kumuunga mkono Njenga alitakiwa kujibu maswali kuhusu medarati na bunduki zilizopatikana nyumbani kwake huko Bahati kaunti ya Nakuru. Baada ya saa tatu maina njenga lipelekwa katika eneo ambalo halijabainishwa. Baadhi ya viongozi wa upinzani waliondamana na njenga waliwakosoa maafisa usalama kwa madai ya kukiuka haki za njenga za kuwakilisho kisheria. Aliyekuwa mbunge wa Ndarago Jeremiah Kioni alitaja madai dhidi ya njenga kuwa unyanyasaji na kuwindwa kisiasa. Hii ni harassment na watu ambao wanajua maina na ni marafiki wa maina na wanampenda. Hii ni kazi lazima tuifanye kisiasa. Yes, si mambo ya sheria, hii ni mambo ya siasa. He is a reformed leader who is a bishop of the Hope Church and he has every right to be treated according to the provisions of our constitution. Siku ya Jumatano jioni, Maina alizuiliwa kwa muda mfupi katika idara ya upelelezi jinai DCI katika kaunti ya Nakuru ambapo aliojiwa kwa muda dakika 45 kabla ya kuachiliwa. Hatma yalikuwa kiongozi wa Mungiki Maina Njenga inasalia mikononi mwa wapelelezi wa DCI. Hii ni baada ya makachero hao kumpeleka mahali pasipojulikana masaa machache alipojiwasilisha katika makao makuu ya DCI Kiambu Road kujibu madai ya kupatikana kwa silaha na misokoto ya bangi katika jumba lalokisiwa kuwa lake. Michael Mondega makao makuu ya DCI jijini Nairobi Haya zaidi ya watoto 6000 wameripotiwa kutoweka humu nchini katika muda wa mwaka mmoja uliopita kulingana na Wizara ya Leba Waziri wa Leba Florence Bore amesema ni takriban watoto 1000 pekee ambao wamepatikana na kujiunga tena na familia zao takwimu hizo zilidokezwa wakati wa maadhimisho ya siku ya kimataifa ya watoto waliotoweka ambayo huadhimishwa tarehe 25 mwezi Mei kila mwaka My ministry through the Directorate of Children's Services is currently developing guidelines to support initiatives that can prevent and address issues of missing children. I therefore urge the Directorate to fast track this process which should adopt a multi-sectoral approach. Should we find parents because of their own negligence children are harassed children's rights are not being taken care of we surely we use the children act and take this serious measures upon that child that that parent most people wait for 24 to 48 hours before reporting a case of a missing child but now we need to emphasize on the fact that and legislate that for a child when a child goes missing missing sorry it is a matter that should be handled with urgency Na uchunguzi kuhusu matukio ya shakahola utachukua muda mrefu ili kutoa nafasi kwa serikali kuwa na kesi madhubuti dhidi ya mhubiri Paul Makenzi na washirika wake waziri wa usalama wa kitaifa Kiture Kindike amesema mauaji ya shakahola ni uhalifu dhidi ya binadamu ambao unahitaji muda kuchunguza mwanahabari wetu Yusuf Farah na uketo wa taarifa hiyo Waziri wa Usalama wa Kitaifa Kidhuru Kindiki amesema matukio yaliyofanyika Shakahola ni baadhi ya machukizo makubwa zaidi kuna kilio ulimwenguni. If the director of public prosecutions will be looking at charging these perpetrators with serious outrages against humanity including genocide 
crimes against humanity. Then the investigations will take a little longer. And that is what happened all over the world. Kindikia lisema kuwa baadhi ya wale unusuriwa wanakataa kusaidiwa kupata matibabu. Yesterday we lost one of the persons who had been rescued from Shakahola Forest and taken to hospital for stabilization because they continued to resist eating. We tried our best to feed the victim of this horrible crime uh, with a lot of resistance. Aidha amesema kwa serikali imezidisha juhudi za uokoaji kupitia kuongezwa kwa hudumu zaidi na matumizi ya teknolojia ya kisasa. We are going to open several security roads within the ranch effective immediately and these are roads that will assist us to mark uh, the entire property into smaller compartments to allow ground and air search that is thara and definitive Waziri pia alitangaza kuongezwa kwa kafyu katika msitu huo kwa siku 30 zaidi Upasuaji na uchunguzi wa mili 129 ile ofukuliwa siku chache zilizopita katika msitu huo uliendelea leo As per the cause of death uh, we found that most of them uh, were caused by starvation uh, because the features we saw on the bodies were what we see in starvation these were 10 Four of these we were unable to find the cause of death because of the level of decomposition. They were too much decomposed that we were unable to ascertain the cause of death. Kadhalika kundi linaloendeleza shughuli za uokoaji limepata makaburi zaidi katika msitu huu. Awamu ya tatu ya shughuli za kufukua maiti inatarajiwa kuanza pindi tu awamu ya pili uchunguzi maiti itakapokamilika. Na serikali inahitaji uongoji mkono na washikadau wa sekta ya kibinafsi na umma ili kufaulu kuhakikisha usambazaji wa maji safi pamoja na usafi wakati nchi hii inapojitarisha kuwa mwandalizi wa kongamano la kimataifa la mwaka huu la maji na usafi. Kongamano hilo litakaloandaliwa katika kaunti ya Mombasa chini ya maudhui ya matumizi ya teknolojia na ubunifu ili kuafikia usalama wa maji na usafi kwa wote litawaleta pamoja wadau wa sekta za umma na kibinafsi kujadili mbinu mwafaka za kuhakikisha kila mkenya anapata maji safi wa shirika zaidi alf moja na wajasiri ya mali mbili wanatarajiwa kuhudhuria kongamano hilo katibu wa maji na usafi dr kiprono ro, kimrono rono uh, <coughs> kiprono rono ametoa wito wa utekelezwaji uh, wa mapendekezo yatakayotolewa kwenye majadiliano na mazungumzo wakati wa kongamano hilo so achieve the sustainable development goal number six. Uh, through uh, innovation and technology not on only on innovations and technology but we are looking at climate smart the issue is that uh, are we able to build resilience are we able to adapt are we able to look at mitigation as we employ the innovations and technologies the critical link which is missing, which we need to focus on, is to manage water. The bigger challenge in this country when it comes to water is not only water harvesting, it is water management. And the moment we talk to that topic, that is, could be the most important component for the success of delivery on this critical uh, SDG call number 6 Na mtazamaji kwenye safu ya biashara ni kwamba serikali imefadhaishwa na ongezeko la visa vya wizi wa vifaa muhimu vya muundo mbinu vikiwemo vile vya umeme ambavyo huuzwa kama vyuma vikuku. Mwenye kitu baraza la kitaifa la biashara ya vyuma vikuku Francis Mugo amesema kuwa maafisa wa usalama wanapokea mafunzo kuhusu mbinu za kushughulikia tatizo hilo. Huu hapa ni mkusanyiko wetu wa habari za biashara. Mnamo mwezi Januari mwaka jana serikali ilipiga marufuku uzaji wa vyuma vikuku umo nchini na katika mataifa ya nje kufuatia ongezeko la wizi wa nyaya za stima uliotatiza huduma za umeme kabla ya marufuku hayo wafanyibiashara 91 wa vyuma vikuku walikuwa wamesajiliwa 
Idadi hiyo imekuwa ikiongezeka kila ukuchao na kufikia sasa wafanyabiashara 717 wamesajiliwa hali inayokisiwa kuchochea wizi wa nyaya za stima. Once you are out of business, we cannot allow you to operate if you are being involved with in such kind of misconduct. At the same time you have a case in court that uh, has uh, stiff penalties if you are found to be culpable. I believe is one of the measures that uh, that will deter other 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 people from engaging in such kind of activities. Wakati wa huo naibu mwenyekiti wa chama cha kitaifa cha wanyabiashara na viwanda daktari Eric Ruto ametoa wito kwa serikali kuwaadhiri maafisa zaidi wa kilimo nyanjani. Dr. Ruto alisema maafisa wa nyanjani ni muhimu katika kuimarisha uzalishaji na akawarae vijana kukumbatia kilimo kama njia ya kujikimu kimaisha. Tutaweza kuongea na serikali eh, kuu na ya county eh, ni kwamba eh, maneno ya extension officers is very important. Na ningependa kupea challenge serikali moja ni kwamba kila mwaka tunajua vijana wetu wanapelekwa ku train kama polisi, kama military, kama nini. Nafikiria hiyo budget kama inaweza badilishwa tupate kwamba kwa kila mwaka tunapata kwa kila sub county hapa hapa Kenya tupate extension officers Hatimaye afisa mkuu wa kitengo cha kilimo biashara katika benki ya cooperative mwe nchini Esther Karioki ametajwa kuwa mfanyakazi bora zaidi wa benki barani Afrika mwaka 2023 Kariuki aliyetuzwa wakati wa mkutano wa nane wa kila mwaka wa Benki ya Maendeleo wa barani Afrika nchini Misri alitambuliwa kwa kuwasaidia wakulima wadogo wadogo kufungua akaunti za benki kwa kubuni mfumo wa utoaji mikopo kwa njia ya haraka bali na kuhakikisha mikopo hiyo inalipwa kikamilifu kamati ya tuzo hizo ilimpongeza Kariuki kwa kuanzisha huduma ya rununu za uuzaji na ununuzi wa bidhaa mtandaoni inayojulikana kama Coop Bank Soko ambapo wakulima wadogo wadogo wanaweza kuuza mazao yao kununua pembejeo na kupata huduma za kifedha za benki ya cooperative na michezoni ni kwamba Winnie Boynet, William Mbevi na Ekwama Zablon ni miongoni mwa wanariadha waliotamba kwenye siku ya pili ya makala ya 43 ya mashindano ya riadha ya, je, ya majeshi katika uwanja wa ulinzi. Mashindano hayo ya siku tatu yatatumiwa kuchagua kikosi cha majeshi kitakachowa ashiriki mashindano ya kitaifa yatakayoandaliwa kuanzia Juni 22 hadi 24 katika uwanja wa Kasarani. Winnie Boynet aliandikisha muda wa dakika tisa sekunde ya na nne nukta moja moja na kushinda mbio za mita elfu tatu kuruka viunzi na kidibu cha maji mbele ya Marion Kibor na Lea Jeruto waliorithika na fazi ya pili na ya tatu mtawalia. I've been training um, about speed walk. Nimekuwa nikipiga speed walk mzuri. After this uh, nitaenda ku train. Nione kama naweza ingia World Championship but I know it's very competitive. Nisikwa ni prepare because last month 2024 nilikuwa natokea marathon and I ran 222 my personal best. So nikakuja nika train kidogo because uwanja natakanga speed ya juu. Kwenye nusu finali ya wanaume mita 400 William Mbevi na Wise Manuere waliandikisha sekunde ya msini, nukta sita sufuri na sekunde ya msini na moja, nukta sita moja na kuibuka washindi kwenye nusu finali za kwanza na ya pili. Timu ya Isiolo ilinyakuwa ubingu wa mbio za mita 400 kupokezana kijiti huku Cornelius Tunay na Patrick Rotich wakitamba kwenye nusu finali ya kwanza na ya pili ya mita 800 kwa wanaume. So saito ni mbeba 4x4 Uh, semis so tomorrow we are heading to the final kulingana vile mimi naona kesho mambo itakuwa mzuri timu isiolo na watu wamejipanga kesho mambo itachamka kabisa mashindano hayo ya siku tatu yatatumia kuchagua kikosi cha majeshi kitakacho shiriki katika mashindano ya kitaifa yatakayoandaliwa kuanzia Juni 22 hadi 24 katika uwanja wa Kasarani Nayo makala ya kila mwaka ya mashindano ya Rhino Charge yamepokea udhamini wa shilingi milioni 15 kutoka kwa kampuni ya Safaricom. Mashindano ya mwaka huu yataandaliwa tarehe tatu mwezi Juni katika kaunti ya Laikipia. Mashindano ya Rhino Charge yamevutia madereva 65 huku dereva mzoefu Ian Duncan na kikosi chake cha KTM Cruisers wakitarajiwa kushiriki. Madereva wengine ni bingwa mtetezi Sean Avery, Peter Kinywa, Adil Hawaja, Eddie Verbig 
Rafi Patel na John Bowden miongoni mwa madereva wengine afisa mkuu wa kampuni ya safari kompita ndegwa alisema udhamini huo pia utatumiwa kufadhili gari nambari 44 la dereva Adil Hawaja mashindano ya mwaka huu yataandaliwa tarehe tatu mwezi Juni katika kaunti ya Laikipia Naye dereva anayedhaminiwa na benki ya KCB Evans Kavisi ameimarisha mazoezi kabla ya mbio za dunia za magari za WRC zitakazoandaliwa kuanzia Juni 22 hadi Juni 25 mjini Naivasha na Kuru. Mashindano hayo ya siku nne yamevutia madereva 40. Evans Kavisi pamoja na msaidizi wake Absalom Aswani watakuwa kinuia kuandikisha matokeo bora baada ya kujiondoa kwenye mashindano ya WRC mwaka uliopita. Uh, we generally are done with the car. It's, it's ready. So we've just come to test to see if everything works together. So we found a few things that we have enough time to change. So not a big problem. Kwa upande wake Absalom Aswani alisema tajituma vilivyo mashindano ni as a team i can say we have never been this much prepared mentally and physically also we are looking forward to this event well uh, this year we haven't had much luck uh, doing most events but uh, with the preparations that we've been doing the t- several tests that we've been doing and even there we had to literally just open up the whole car and to do it afresh uh, we are hoping and believing that everything is going to run out fine Evans Kavisi amedhaminiwa na benki ya KCB pamoja na Nikil Shakanya na Karan Patel. Mwaka uliopita, Nikil Shakanya alimaliza wanne kwenye msururu wa KNRC na 18 kwenye mashindano ya WRC. Mwaka huu, benki ya KCB imedhamini mashindano ya WRC Safari kwa shilingi milioni moja. Mashindano hayo ya siku nne yamevutia madereva 40. Nayo timu ya wanawake ya Raga wachezaji 15 kila upande Kenya Lionesse zitachuana na Cameroon weekend hii katika raundi ya tatu ya kuwania kombe la Raga la bara Afrika mjini Antananarivo Madagascar Kenya inashikilia nafasi ya tatu kwa alama tano ikifuatiwa kwa karibu na Afrika Kusini inayoongoza msururu huo kwa alama kumi timu za kwanza mbili zitafuzu kwa makala ya Uh, timu za kwanza mbili zitafuzu kwa makala ya kwanza ya mashindano ya WXV. Lionesse waliandikisha ushindi wao wa kwanza katika raundi ya kwanza baada ya kuwalemea wenyeji Madagascar alama 29 kwa 20 kabla ya kushindwa na Afrika Kusini alama 48 kwa sufuri katika raundi ya pili ya michuano hiyo. Kenya sasa itachuana na Cameroon ambayo kufikia sasa haijashinda mechi yoyote. Cameroon walianza kampeni yao kwa kushindwa alama 87 kwa sufuri na Afrika Kusini. Mechi hiyo inatarajiwa kuwa rahisi kwa Lions, kwani wapinzani wao hawajashinda mechi yoyote kufikia sasa. Mashindano haya yanashirikisha mataifa manne wakiwemo wenyeji Madagascar, Kenya Afrika Kusini na Cameroon. Na mtazamaji sita dakika zimesalia ifike saa moja kamili asubuhi hii leo shukran kwa kujumuika nasi kwenye kuzacha na hapo ndipo napotea kikomo kwenye taarifa ambazo kwa tumekuandalia asubuhi hii leo lakini mtazamaji inayofuata itakuwa ni mahojiano nitakuwa naye seneta mteule uh, Gloria Oroba ambaye tutakuwa tunazungumzia maswala ya hedhi unakumbuka tu vile ambavyo kwa sasa ama hivi majuzi ameonekana kujishirikisha katika uh, kuwania ama kupigania haki uh, za wale wasichana ambao mimi ndio natoka katika maeneo ambayo ni maeneo ya haliduni uh, kuhakikisha kwamba wanapata uh, hizi vifaa vya hedhi ama vile vile wanafunzi ambao pia wako katika shule za msingi ambao hawana uh, vifaa vya hedhi ama vitambaa vya hedhi na wale walio katika shule za upili waweze kupata uh, nafaka hizo. Kwa hivyo mtazamaji usiende mbali ni mapenzi kwa mafupi tu lakini nitakaporudi nitadurusu magazeti kidogo na mwanzangu Rashid Mamkondo alafu tutakuwa tunafanya mahojiano hayo ya moja kwa moja na seneta mteule Gloria Orobo. Usiende mbali.
kwamba na mazawadi za mafans eh? ah wachana na hizi nataka nikuambia kwamba dunda ndio hivyo tena imerejea ndani ya KBC channel 1 kuanzia Ijumaa hii ita kwa ndani au ni aje bro ah. nakwambia maswala michakato habari mitazamo mahojiano na masuala yote ya sport yanayopokea moja kwa moja kutoka dunda dunda ndani ya KBC Channel 1 kila siku ya Ijumaa. Lakini yote tisa bana usisahau ya kwamba mashabiki pia huku napo hatujawaacha nyuma. Au sio? Zawadi hapa ni bilash. Free of charge. Yaani bila malipo. Kila shabiki atakuwa anapata zawadi. Utambie ujumbe. Dunda dunda viwanjani ndani ya KBC Channel 1. Mambo moto moto. Au sio? Wewe na shop lift that is wrong. Umeweka tishu kwa nje keke. Si ndio? Eh, kwa nje keke. Eh. Keke ni nini? Nje keke ni nini? Makimshinyo. Si nimekwambia ulitumie lugha ya taifa ile tutaelewa. Sasa mimi kaona kwa CCTV nini iko weka hapo ndani hapo ndani ndani. Unajua kiini? Wewe unajua? Ongea. Eh. Namaste namaste. Namaste namaste. 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 Namaste na pale Krista Prep Council. Are baba yeye iko sema nini mimi hapa najua hiyo ah. Hiyo watu wawili mnaishiaje ndani? Mnaishi tu ndani ya nyumba. Romantically. Tunakwaga sasa hapa mnagombana tu sasa yote kwanza mwingi hapa mnagombana. Ni bila tuko mbele ya watu. Ndio mnagombanaga mbele ya watu. Na sasa hao watoto wote unawaleta duniani kuwapatia tabu ya nini? Nani alisema yuko na sahani yao? Bibilia. Sundown on Sunset Date goes county, this time to the land of opportunities. All roads lead to Embo County. Sundowner will be hosted live from the iconic Isaac Walton Inn for their grand collab. Kathleen Donye and John Obongo Jr., the Wicked Weekend Man, and thereafter, John Karani JK will keep you on your feet with hits from the 80s and 90s till late. Good morning, Mr. Walker. Country music performances by Kari B. Karaoke sessions with Kid Karaoke and much more fun. No dull moment when Sandana fans get together. Sandana Sunset Date Ember County Edition. Proudly brought to you by KBC English Service and the Kenya Tourism Board on 3rd June 2023 at the Isaac Walton Inn starting at 2 p.m. Entry 500 shillings at the gate. Tembea Kenya. Tembea Ember. Berlin is calling. The footballing fraternity is taking note. Defending champions RB Leipzig have reached the DFB Pokal final for the third successive season after an emphatic 5-1 win over SC Freiburg. Danny Olmo, there's no pressure on him and he's found in Kunku! Ruthless! Similarly, Eintracht Frankfurt are into the final of the DFB Cup following a 3-2 victory over VFB Stuttgart. The DFB Pokal hits a crescendo on Saturday, 3rd June at 9pm when RB Leipzig will be up against Eintracht Frankfurt live and exclusive on KBC Channel 1. Don't miss out on the unexpected delight. It is Colomoni against Braidlaw, a battle Colomoni was never going to lose. KBC Channel 1, your true sports partner. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to of course. What's happening to managers nowadays? Well, I'm not a coward to just up and leave. I don't care what it takes, but you're going nowhere. Keep dreaming. You know what? If you're okay with Mama Jabali being your co wife, I'm not okay with Trish being here. How Tish? Your handsome face will be all over very soon. Are you serious? Pete, my darling. I am here to stay.
Naam mtazamaji karibu tena na kabla tuingie kwenye mahojiano hayo ambayo nilikuwa nimekudokezea pale awali niruhusu tu ni durusu magazeti mawili matatu nione ni uh, taarifa zipi ambazo zimeweza kugonga vichwa vya habari ama ni taarifa zipi ambazo zimekoleza wino uh, kwenye baadhi tu ya magazeti yetu huku nchini hapa ninayo nakala ya the standard ambayo inasema silent wars in the ruto government na hii mtazamaji inafuatia uh, kule kujiondoa Uh, kazini ama afisini kwake yule aliyekuwa katibu Esther Ngero uh, hivi majuzi nakumbuka ni wiki iliyo ni hii juma hili uh, nadhani siku kama ni ya Jumane ama Jumatano pale tuliona kwamba akijiondoa uh, afisini uh, na hii ni baada tu ya kuonekana kwamba kulikuwa tuna mabadiliko kadhaa uh, kwenye afisi za wizara mbalimbali ama makatibu katika wizara mbalimbali kwa hivyo ni mmoja wao ambaye ameweza kujiondoa afisini na kulingana na gazeti hili wanasema ni kama kuna mihe mko kadhaa katika uh, afisi hizi uh, kwa hivyo ni taarifa tu ambayo imepewa kipaumbele hapa unaweza kujipatia na kala yako uweze kuona ni yepi hasa yameweza kuzungumziwa hapa ndani uh, vile vile kwenye gazeti la Daily Nation wanasema hidden tax pain in Ruto's budget ili ni gazeti ama ni nakala ya Daily Nation na utakumbuka mtazamaji hii ni kufuatia tu uh, ule utata ambao unaonekana kujitokeza uh, kutokana na il, ule mswada wa finance ambao umekuwa katika mikono ya wakenya kwa muda mrefu sasa bila shaka ikisubiri tu tarehe ya kusoma kwa bajeti itakayofika alafu ionekane ni masuala gani yatakayoweza kupitishwa na masuala gani ambayo hayataweza kupitishwa lakini hayo yote mtazamaji ni masuala ambayo uh, wataalamu wa uchumi basi wameweza kuyazungumzia kwa karibu na kuweza kutufungua macho ama kutueleza ni yapi ambayo hatukuweza kuelewa na kuweza kuelewa kwa hivyo ni taarifa tu ambayo uh, imeweza kupewa uh, kipaumbele kwenye gazeti la Daily Nation unaweza kupata na kala yako uweze kuona uh, ni yepi zaidi ama ni yepi mengi zaidi ambayo unaweza uh, kuangazia ama kuji uh, kupata kuelewa zaidi taarifa ya kufariki kwake mwimbaji uh, tinatana naona iko kwenye ukurasa wa tatu kwenye gazeti la Daily Nation vile vile pia nimeona gazeti la The Standard imeweza kuipatia pia kipaumbele kwenye ukurasa wa tatu ni mwimbaji ambaye alifahamika sana sijui kama unamkumbuka sijui kama enzi zako alikwepo ama enzi zake ulikwepo inafaa kuwa enzi zake ulikwepo ama hukwepo ama ulikuja kumsikia hivi majuzi juzi lakini ameaga akiwa na umri wa miaka 30 80 na mitatu. Tazamaji ni rusu niko mepapo tu kwenye magazeti maana kana muona seneta Maalum Gloria Oroba ambaye nilikuwa nimekodokezea hapa wala anakuja studio ni na mahojiano naye ameshafika. Muheshi. Sijui nikwambie shikamo wanake hapa kwetu. <laughs> Mambo nkipwani pwani hivi. Habari za asubuhi. Nzuri siju za kwako. Niko salama. Nikuuliza za wapi Nairobi ama ulikuwa maeneo? Nimekuwa Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Tulikuwa tunapanga tu maneno ya kesho. Maneno ya kesho. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh ambapo ndo sasa leo tunalizungumzia swala hilo kabisa kuhusu hiyo sherehe itakayofanyika kisha ama hafla nzima sasa itakayofanyika kesho ehe na mtazamaji nataka nikurudishe nyuma tu kidogo kuhusiana na hafla hii ambayo uh, seneta anaizungumzia uh, ni kufuatia yale masuala ambayo yameonekana uh, kuhusiana na vifaa ama vitambaa vya hedhi ambavyo wanafunzi wa shule wamekuwa kivihitaji na kumekuwa tu na masuala mbalimbali kusemekana kwamba uh, vitambaa vile havitoshi idadi nayo ama uh, idadi nayo peano haitoshi Uh, wanafunzi sio wote wanaweza kufikia vitambaa kama vile uh, nakumbuka ni wanafunzi wengi ambao wana mahitaji ya namna ile lakini hawawezi sasa kesho kutakuwa na hafla ambayo mheshi ataweza kutuelezea zaidi ni nini haswa atakuwa analenga kufikia lakini unajua uh, siku za nyuma tu kidogo alikuwa pale sijui ni mchokoza alikuwa pale seneti mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa tu pale <laughs> <laughs> Maneno yakaja yakatokea. Eh, <laughs> Na, nataka tuanzie hapo. Mm. Uh, sijui kama kulienda yani kulikoseka koseka nini pale maana mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa niko pale bunge mm -hmm. nafuatilia tu proceedings. Afu nikashtukia ha kwendaje kwendaje? <laughs> Ukashtukia vipi uliona nini? Niliona kwanza kulikuwa na mihemke mhemko mle ndani. Speaker yasema hivi seneta na wewe nao uko nyuki vyako, alafu kisha nikakuona kutoka nje. Unajua kwanza kuna rafiki yangu pale seneta anaitwa mm -hmm. Crystal. Mm -hmm. Tukiongea haya maneno akaniambia unajua mimi siku kwa sababu waoni, eh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, akaniambia sasa alikuwa anapata shida kwa sababu uh, ana, anasikia watu wanasema uh, kuna vile ambavyo seneta amekaa, anafaa tolewe. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo anajaribu kuuliza kwani seneta nini imemfanyikia? Mm -hmm. Kwani ajavaa mm -hmm. nguo ama nini? <laughs> 
Kwa hivyo akaulizia aka ulizia hapati story kwa sababu mm -hmm. anaambiwa no amevaa nguo lakini kuna vile yongo yake imechafuka mm -hmm. pande fulani. Mm -hmm. So kwa hivyo alikuwa ananiambia ana, alikuwa anajaribu kufikiria imechafuka vipi, vipi. nini imefanyika lakini mm -hmm. hakuna mtu anamwambia atikuwa hapana si ni tamkata period. Eh, kulitamka pia ni ngumu. Eh, kulitamka mm -hmm. pia ni ngumu mm -hmm. kwa hivyo watu walikuwa wanaona haya. Mm -hmm. Eh hey, nikafikiria nikamwambia kwa hivyo huko unajua kanaambia mimi sikuwa najua kabisa mm -hmm. mpaka vile ambavyo of speaker alianza kuongea akasema oh ah tunajua maneno kama haya yanafanyika wasichana mm -hmm. huwa wanapata periods mm -hmm. lakini sasa itabidi nikupe nafasi uende ukabadilishe nguo ndio mm -hmm. akasema oh, okay labda kuna vile ambavyo hiyo mm -hmm. stain ya ile damu mm -hmm. ili ilionekana mm -hmm. lakini ilikuwa kitu you know kwangu hata nilikuwa nashangaa eh hey, kitu sasa imeenda ikime trend mm. na wengi unajua yeah. walijiuliza kwa nini seneta achukue hata kama anataka kupaza sauti kuhusiana na masuala kama haya mm. kwa nini afuate mkondo ule uliofuata unajua kitu ya kwanza hiyo haikuwa maneno yati yati nataka kufanya kampeni ya mm -hmm. maneno ya sodo mm -hmm. na maneno ya wasichana mm -hmm. Ya, hapo awali huwa kutoka 2007 huwa mm -hmm. mimi naenda kwa mashule kuongelesha wasichana kuambia vile ambavyo uh, usione haya ukipata periods unafanya hivi usije ukakosa kwenda uh, shule, shule ama mm -hmm. kwa darasa mm -hmm. kwa sababu ulipata kwa stain fulani mm -hmm. e, unajua hiyo ni kitu ambayo nimekuwa nikiwaambia sasa mimi vile ambavyo ilinifanyikia kwanza ilikuwa ni rudi kwa gari mm, mm. lakini sasa nikaanza kujiongelesha kusema kuwa sasa wewe unaenda kuongelesha wasichana mm -hmm. unawaambia kitu kama hiki kiofanyikia mm -hmm. wa watembee wa tu mm -hmm. roho juu mm lakini wasikose kuendelea na na, mafunda, na, na, na darasa na, darasa, mafunzo, na mafunzo na kila mm -hmm. kitu mm -hmm. sasa wewe senator mm -hmm. unataka ukose kuenda bunge mm -hmm. eti kwa sababu umepata periods mm -hmm. unajua sasa ikabidi nijiongeleshe mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nilikuwa ninarudi kwa gari mm -hmm. alafu nikajiambia oh kwa hivyo hiyo hiyo maneno unaongelesha wasichana tu ni kuwaongelesha mm -hmm. lakini ukweli ni kwamba pia wewe unataka ku, kuwa na hiyo haya mm -hmm. sasa ukiwa na hiyo haya umis bunge kabisa mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ati kwa sababu unataka kurudi nyumbani by the time urudi nyumbani ubadilishe nguo nini nini bas session imeisha mm -hmm. so ikabidi nijiambie wacha kuongea kila saa kuongea saa ita mm -hmm. anza ku, pia wewe chukua haya mawazo na mm -hmm. mawaidha unapatia watu na wewe u, you action them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so nikaingia and uh, na ukweli pia mimi nilikuwa na wasiwasi wasiwasi nilikuwa na hofia ya kwamba hao watu sasa wataniona vipi lakini sasa nikasema ndio kwa sababu anashinda nikiambia wasichana au mm. fanya hivi fanya hivi hata we jaribu ufanye mm. vile ambavyo una you know you can't preach water and then drink yes. rain uh -huh. eh. ni kweli sasa pengine tuanze kuzungumzia swala la kutolewa kwa sodo mm. uh, pengine mpango wako mzima ni upi lengo lako katika mm. shughuli hii yote ni upi unapania kuafikia wapi maana tunajua kuna wizara kadha wakadha mm. wizara ndani ya jinsia wizara ya shule ambazo zimekuwa katika humradi huu kuhakikisha mm. kwamba sodo zinafikia wanafunzi shuleni pengine mwingilio wako wakati kama huu lengo lako ni kufikia wapi lengo langu la kwanza ni kuangalia kuwa sheria ambayo iko ya uh, kupatiana sodo kutoka kwa serikali sheria iko sambamba mm -hmm, mm -hmm. na ukiangalia sasa sheria vile ambavyo ime, ime mm -hmm. ndio iko inasema kwa umbali lakini hakuna yule ambaye ata atajikumika ata mm. yani aku, vile ambavyo imeandikwa ndio anasema watu serikali itapatiana sodo eh, you know na wakipatiana mara moja wakipatiana paketi moja mm -hmm. wanaweza kusema wamefuata sheria mm -hmm. kwa hivyo Uh, mpango yangu kwanza ya kwanza kabisa yenyewe mm -hmm. nataka kushughulikia sana kwa sababu sasa unajua mimi niko pale bunge mm -hmm. na pale ndipo tunaandika mashiria na tuna e. kwa hivyo ndio mpango yangu kwanza ni sheria iwe sawa mm -hmm. ndio maana sasa niko na hiyo bili yangu ambayo tuna launch kesho mm -hmm. kwa sababu tulienda tukaangalia tukarikibisha tukaona ni nini nataka kufanya nikasema mi nataka serikali iweze kusema minimum uh, location itakuwa hii ya budget mm -hmm. hata kama hawataweza kusema hivyo lakini at least kukuwe na uh, uh, mikakati ambayo tunajua haswa zile sodo ambazo zinatoka ni you know kama ni sodo za 1 million ama za 260 million ama za nini lakini kuwe iwe katika sheria um, alafu pia kulikuwa na shida kwa sababu uh, serikali ilikuwa inanunua uh, zile sodo lakini kutoka mahali ambapo hizo sodo zimenunuliwa zimewekwa pale katika ministry eh? sasa kutoka ministry kwenda kwa wasichana kulikuwa na mchezo hapo katikati mchezo hapo katikati mm -hmm. e, mm -hmm. sasa unapata ndiyo serikali inafanya kazi yake mm -hmm. lakini wale ambao wanafaa kufikisha hizo sodo pale kwa wasichana mm -hmm. wanaanza kufanya biashara nayo mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. pia tumeweka maneno ya oversight vile ambavyo sasa utaweza kusema ndiyo haswa ministry linunua sodo ziko uh, um, 
Mali. za 260 ama whatever mm -hmm. na hivi ndivyo ambavyo vizili distributiwa mm -hmm. so um, uh, kando na sheria uh, unajua watu wezi sema tu mi na, na, naangalia sheria sheria unajua ndio iende bunge we umekuwa bunge unajua mm -hmm. lazima utakuwa na hiyo first mm -hmm. reading hata mm -hmm. by the time ifike first reading kuna drafting mm -hmm. nini mm -hmm. inaweza chukua hata kama mwaka moja mm -hmm. ndio ikuje ipit, ipitishwe alafu sasa iwekwe sahihi pale ndio sasa iwe sheria mm -hmm. lakini sasa between now mm -hmm. na hiyo na, na huo wakati ambao sasa itakuwa sheria mm -hmm. eh, na mm -hmm. i hope Uh, my fellow <coughs> members of parliament mm -hmm. watani support mm -hmm. ni uwezi kaa useme ah mimi ni, na, ni sheria nafanya kazi lakini sasa wasichana sasa hizi tukingoja sheria eh, itakuwa eh, vipi itakuwa vipi eh, sasa ndio nikasema lazima hata mimi nijikakamue ni, ni, niweke bank mm -hmm in a pads bank, bank eh, unajua eh. vile ambavyo tunaenda kuweka pesa pale kwa kwa bank unasema juu kwa Kiswahili ni benki benki eh. <laughs> <laughs> benki mm -hmm. eh. kwa sababu unaweka pesa unachanga unachanga mpaka mwisho wa mwezi mm -hmm. uko na eh, pesa za akiba mm -hmm. alafu unafanyia kazi yako si ndio mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sasa nimeleta kitu ambayo inaitwa gloves oh. pad bank uh -huh. Uh -huh. so benki ambayo watu wasinipe pesa wasifanye nini wewe mm -hmm. uenda nunua zile hizo um, Is, sodo hizo sodo mm -hmm nenda ukaweke ndani ya bank pale mm -hmm. useme mimi nataka kusaidia wasichana fulani hivi mm -hmm. nimeleta uh, zile sodo nimeweka pale mm -hmm. sasa mpango wangu long term ni uh, nataka nifanye kazi na magavana mm -hmm. um, kwa sasa tuna launch ya kesho tuna launch ile ya, ya Nairobi County Pads Bank mm -hmm. Glows Pad Bank hiyo mm -hmm. ni ya Nairobi mm -hmm. itazunguka ikienda ikidistribute mm -hmm. kwanza kesho asubuhi tuko na road show tutaen toka kutoka KICC tutembee mm -hmm. Jugoro nini hivyo kabisa mm -hmm. tukienda kupeana sasa zile ambazo tulipata awali awali e. uh -huh. Uh -huh. sasa every county ningependa sana kufanya kazi na magavana mm. ndio Ma, magavana aha ndio sasa uh -huh. tuweke hiyo Pads Bank mm -hmm. hiyo benki ya sodo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. kwa kila county mm -hmm. na ikiwa pale unajua hiyo benki ni ile container ya 20 foot mm -hmm. lakini unajua ukiweka container na haufanyi resource mobilization au hausukumi watu waende ku kuweka zile soda hauta hauta mm -hmm. lakini mimi kazi yangu itakuwa ni kujaza mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nikishaleta pale hiyo uh, benki yangu mm -hmm. nimesimamisha kama ni Kirinyaga county ama mm -hmm. ni county gani mm -hmm. alafu sasa mimi ninatumia sasa zile uh, njia ambazo tumekuwa tukifanya za kujaza hiyo benki mm -hmm. nina najaribu na kujazia ikienda kila mwezi kila mwezi tunajaribu kujaza mm -hmm. eh, sasa lakini unajua serikali inataka ifike mahali iweze kuwa ni kama uh, ukienda kwa choyo yoyote mm -hmm. hata ukija hapa KBC upate ziko unapata kama pia. vile ambavyo tunaona mipira kabisa uh -huh. mm. Nataka pia tu, tuelewe uh, katika huu mradi wako. Je, serikali itakuwa kuna mkono wa serikali pale ndani ama hii ni hatua yako wewe mwenyewe binafsi? Tupengine tukisubiri mswada upi. Ah, hii ni hii ni ni hatua yangu. Nimejika komo tu nikajiambia unajua tu wananiambia sasa wewe tulikupeleka huko kufanya nini? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unafaa kuangalia masuala ya wanawake yeah, na wasichana. Kwa hivyo najikakamua tu, mm -hmm. niende nitafute wale sponsors, wale donors mm -hmm. na wambia sasa tumesimamisha hapa ya Nairobi County. Mm -hmm. Tukienda county nyingine nasema tumesimamisha kienda kisi county nasema tumesimamisha mm -hmm. kwa hivyo kazi yangu day in day out nikishatoka pale bunge tumeongea maneno ya mswada zile ambazo ziko bunge mm -hmm. nime contribute uh, uh, you know kazi yangu ya bunge mm -hmm. unajua napata muda fulani na pia mm -hmm. nafanya hii kazi nyingine mm -hmm. hii, mm -hmm. hii ni aina hii haina serikali haiko hapa haiko hapo ndani eh, ndio unajua serikali ina support manake najaribu kufikiria je mm. pengine utajaribu pia kuangalia serikali ina mgao upi mm. uh, uone na wewe kama utajaribu kuanza kazi yako na mapema ya kuangalia serikali ina mgao upi na naweza kuchukua kiasi gani ama hizi sodo zimekuja uh, idadi ya kiasi gani naweza kuchukua gani nikahakikisha kwamba imefika katika zile container zangu ambazo pia <laughs> unajua ki, kitu ya kwanza sisi kama wa, uh, <coughs> members of parliament mm -hmm. eh, kazi yetu ni oversight mm -hmm. uwezi kufika mahali uache kazi ya kufanya oversight uingie kazi ya kuimplement project mm -hmm, mm -hmm, kwa hivyo mm -hmm. maneno ambayo unaongea mm -hmm. ina ina aiendi sawa na constitution mm -hmm, yani sheria mm -hmm. ina pahali ambapo tumewekwa mimi kama senator kazi mm -hmm. yangu ni kuangalia kuwa uh, pale county government zinafanya kazi vizuri mm -hmm. national mm -hmm. government ni nini mm -hmm. lakini sana sana oversight mm -hmm. so Unajua uh, kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanasema hiyo ni kazi wacha women reps wapewe pesa zao mm. waende wakanunue sodo mm. inaweza kuwa ni sawa lakini unajua sheria pia lazima uwe tufuate sheria. sheria na sheria inasema kuwa members of parliament kazi yetu ni oversight, oversight. kwa hivyo uwezi sema tena sasa uingie pale kwa kwa mm. national government ingawaje ikikushirikisha lakini mimi kwangu kitu ambayo nataka kufanya mm. ni 
nikishaweka hizi benki kila mahali kila mm -hmm. county mm -hmm. Nione tu vile ambavyo ninaweza ku, 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 kuongelesha watu vizuri. Unajua kuna mtu anaweza sema mimi kila mwezi naweza ku afford zile za pads za 1000. Mm -hmm. Nitakuwa mm -hmm. nikinunua mimi mwenyewe binafsi nikinunua pads za 1000 mm -hmm. nafika pale kwenye benki naweka. Mm -hmm. Nikishaweka at least najua nimesaidia msichana moja mbili tatu hivi. Lakini long term ningependa sana ni niweze kuweka hii ni kupiti hii sheria ipitishwe hii ambayo na launch kesh my mm -hmm. bill mm -hmm. ndio unajua sasa sheria ikishapitishwa ita hiyo sheria ina, inasema kuwa kitu ya kwanza budget itatupatikana ya ku mm -hmm. ya kununua hizi sodo mm -hmm. kitu ya pili hivi ndivyo ambavyo tuta, tutaweza ku distribute hizo mm -hmm. soda mm -hmm. kitu ya tatu hata kama uh, women reps ni oversight peke yake mm -hmm. lakini oversight pia wanaweza ku, ku kama for instance list ya mashule ambayo ziko most vulnerable mm -hmm. zinafaa women rep wanajua so wan, wanaweza kusaidia kush, kushirikiana na hiyo uh, kamati kuambia kuwa mimi ukikuja kwa kaunti yangu pale kisi mm. kuna hizi shule ambazo zina they are suffering more than others mm. kwa hivyo hao kama unaweza kuwa prioritize mm. so in the end isikuwe tu ati tumesema oh hiyo maneno tumewachia ministry of education, of education. alafu ministry of education wanasema wana, maybe ni ya je kwa agenda na pia wanasema agenda. na wengine na unajua kuna mwaka ambao pesa ilikuwa ime, imetolewa na serikali mm -hmm. ya kununua sodo mm -hmm. na hizo pesa zikarudishwa kwa exchequer sababu Haiku, walikuwa hawajui kama inafaa iende kwa wizara gani. Hapana hiyo kugongana tu wewe nunua nyinyi fanye nini pesa ikarudi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sasa unajua ikifika hapo ni kwa sababu pia unaweza kuona sheria haisemi vile ambavyo hiyo Kwa sasa pengine tukiangalia sheria inasema nani anajukumika katika swala hili la kuhakikisha kwamba sodo ambazo sheria vile ambavyo ilikuwa imedraftiwa hapo awali uh -huh. Amendment Education Amendment Act uh -huh. inasema kuwa Ministry of Education uh -huh. ita, ita, itapatia na sodo. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Uh, na unajua kwa kusema ukweli unajua ukienda kupatia na sodo si unaenda kwa shule mm -hmm. kwa sababu tunajaribu kuweka wasichana wabaki shuleni mm -hmm. kwa hivyo mm -hmm. the schools ndio zinatumika kama unit ambazo tuna, tuna distribute mm -hmm. lakini unajua uh, sasa kizungumkuti ilikuja mahali ambapo ministry of education mm -hmm. lazima wafanye kazi na ministry of gender mm -hmm. ndio gender iwaambie kuwa Uh, ni wanafunzi kadhaa e, ata si, e, uh -huh. e, unajua agenda wana, wanafanya kazi ya man, maswala ya wasichana Was, na, na wanawake mm -hmm. yeah. na itaweza kukuambia kama ni teenage pregnancies hiyo eh, rate ya teenage pregnancies ukienda kwa mfano kwa hii county iko juu mm, ju. na wanaweza kukuambia iko juu kwa sababu, kwa sababu wale wasichana uh -huh. unapata pia wanaenda ku, kujiuza ndio uh -huh. wapate hii pesa ya kununua sodo uh -huh. kwa hivyo uh -huh. ministry of gender iko na hiyo information yote, yote. ndio inapaswa ina, ina, ina sasa i, iweze ku draft kusema sasa hizi ndio zile focus areas ambazo tutaenda mm -hmm. na hiyo hapo awali hat, ministry of education haikuwa hai kwa hivyo uh, ministry of education nao walifanya vile ambavyo wangeweza kufanya ni mm -hmm. sodo zikija wanaambiana tunaenda wapi wanapeana kwa hizo shule lakini ukiuliza uki hazikufika hawajui wao uki, uki ukiuliza shule ukiuliza shule ukiuliza Uh, oh okay hizi shule ziliwekwa kwa, kwa nini mm -hmm. what was the justification mm -hmm. mbona uweke status primary lakini usiweke st george's mm -hmm. Una, unanipata mm -hmm. hakuna yule ambaye atakwambia mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo na hapo ndiyo sasa shida iko. Kwa sababu unapata kuna shule ambazo zinafaa kabisa yani wale wasichana wako kwa katika hali duni ha, kabisa mm -hmm. na hao ndio wangefaa waangaliwe kwanza kabla mm -hmm. ujakuja kwa shule fulani. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu unajua kuanzia hata hii hii hi, uh, bili kipita iende iwekwe sahihi iwe sasa ni sheria. sheria. Unajua uwezi kusema ati kwa just immediately shule zote zitapata uwezi sema ni kitu ambayo <coughs> lazima itaenda progressive na unajua sasa venye economy iko pia mm -hmm. kuna pale kuna vile ambavyo tunajaribu kama uh, serikali ya Kenya kwanza ku ensure hatuchukui mm -hmm. hatuendi kuchukua madeni alafu tujipate pia tuko tu, we are digging a hole mm -hmm. so ikianza lazima itaanza iangalie the most vulnerable mm -hmm. alafu tuki you know economy ikiendelea kuwa nzuri mm -hmm. na budget pia inaendelea ku pandishwa mm -hmm. alafu inafika mahali sasa hata mm -hmm. tukisema 5 10 years 20 years mm -hmm. lakini itafika mahali vile ambavyo tu tulianza na na mipira mm -hmm. si ndio condoms mm -hmm. atukuanza at kila, kila mahali tulianza kwanza the most public places kulikuwa na research ambayo ilifanywa ikasema hapa ndio inafai you know so it's the same thing so mimi ningesema kuwa my vision mm -hmm. ni ifike mahali ambapo msichana hajakosa kwenda shuleni kwa sababu mm -hmm. hana sodo kuna na, kuna jambo moja ambalo nataka tulizungumzie lakini kabla hiyo pengine mgao uh, wa vifaa vya sodo mm. 
kutoka wizara ya elimu pengine ulikuwa kiasi gani na katika mswada wako je wewe mapendekezo yako ni ipandishwe ama iko sawa pale ni vile tu mikakati ya kuhakikisha kwamba inafikia wanafunzi ndio imekuwa changamoto hapana kwa sababu unajua hiyo program ikianza 2011 mm -hmm. walianza na nikidhani 470 million mm -hmm hiyo ndio ilikuwa budget mm -hmm. na ukianga ukienda ufanye uchunguzi hiyo budget yote haikutoka kwa serikali mm -hmm. ili hata kama ilitoka kwa serikali ilikuja kwa kutoka kwa ile budget ya donors ya donors uh -huh. e, so na yani tuseme sasa for instance e, e, united nations imesema si tunataka kuingia masuala ya, ya wasichana na wamama ama wasichana wabaki shule mm -hmm. kwa hivyo tutatoa budget fulani mm -hmm. so and unajua sasa hiyo program venye ilianza ilikuwa ni kama wana pilot mm -hmm. na ikawa wakaangalia kuwa wasichana walipo hiyo program ilipofanyika uh, wasichana wengi walibaki shule mm, mm. kwa hivyo impact ilikuwa juu ilionekana mm -hmm. lakini uh, na unajua sasa ndio maana nasema sasa hizi vile vile ambavyo sheria iko ina depend na uko na president mgani mm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. ikafika mahali eh, budget ikashukishwa mm -hmm. ikakuja 260 political will eh, mm -hmm. political goodwill. goodwill ikafika sasa ikakuja kutoka 470 million ikakuja 260 million mm -hmm. na ukiuliza eh, wale wabunge ambao walisema hiyo ikatwe mm -hmm. ukiwauliza mlikuwa mnafikiria vipi wenyewe hata wakumbuki hawezi eleza hawezi eleza mm -hmm. kwa hivyo ukiona ni kitu ambao walisema hizi si hivi vifaa hivi yani hawakuchukulia kama hii Havu, kabisa hawakuvitilia maana nani hawakuvitilia maana nani kabisa mm -hmm. kwa hivyo sasa kitu ambayo najaribu kufanya mm -hmm. ni kui sheria tunajaribu kuirekebisha kidogo ndio mm -hmm. hata kama uh, nani atakuja hawe hata kama wewe sasa utakuja kwa president uh -huh. kuna vile ambavyo hata kama utapunguza iko na minimum threshold mm -hmm. eh, uh -huh. lakini sana sana ni si maneno sana ya pesa ni maneno ya ku make sure wanafunzi, ifi, ifikiwa wana, wanafunzi. Eh, kwa sababu pia ukumbuke um, market dynamics sasa hizi uh, packet moja ya sodo average ni kutoka shilingi hamsini kwenda shilingi mia moja zingine imepita hata mia moja hamsini mm -hmm. uh, lakini tukiona um, unajua sasa venye finance bill imetoka na najua kuna wale watu wanasema ambao oh, finance bill wana nini oh, tax nini lakini ukiangalia mikakati ambayo um, president amefuatilia mm -hmm. kuna vitu ambavyo kama sasa nikikwambia hizi sodo zikiimportiwa ziki mm -hmm. zinakuja bila taxes mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. na wale ambao wanaleta hizo sodo kutoka china hawataksiwi awa uh -huh. kwa hivyo wana, wanaleta kwa bei ya chini kabisa uh -huh. hawalipi taxes uh -huh. uh, alafu kisha wakifikisha Kenya, Kenya. ukienda upate kwa supermarket uh -huh. wamepandisha bei kama okay. mara tatu uh -huh. uh -huh. unaona uh -huh. kwa hivyo profit margin yao ni iko kubwa kubwa sana Aya, alafu e, hali mwana, mwana, yule ambaye anatengeneza ana, 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 ana hapa hata uh -huh. yule ambayo sasa ana manufacture uh -huh. yule ambayo sasa zile factory ambayo zina manufacture hapa uh -huh. azileti kutoka China uh -huh unapata wanawekewa tax kwa raw materials uh -huh. zenye zile ambazo wanaleta wanawekewa tax kwa nini wanaikuwa by the time hiyo ule ambaye anatengeneza hizo sodo hapa Kenya mm. anafikisha yake pale kwa kwa, kwa soko mm -hmm. Hawezi ku compete na yule ametoa China. Na bado yule ametoa China amepandisha bei maradufu. Ma, kama mara tatu. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kuna ukiangalia hiyo finance bill vizuri mm -hmm. na uisome mm -hmm. kuna vitu ambavyo unaona ndio zimepandishwa hiyo tax. Mm -hmm. Lakini ni kwa sababu zinapandishwa tax ndio sisi kama Kenya tu, tu, tuweze ku promote local manufacturing. Niweze kusema mbona mnaenda China ku, kutoa hizo sodo China ila hali hapa tuko na zile makampuni ambazo zinatengeneza hapa lakini wana struggle kwa sababu hao wanataxiwa raw material nini walete. sasa ukiona ukisoma hiyo finance bill pahali ambapo unaona tax imeongezwa kwa kitu mm -hmm. ukifuatilia kabisa mm -hmm. wale local manufacturers tax zao zimetolewa zime kwa sababu hatuwezi kuwa tukisema hakuna kazi mm -hmm. oh, wa, wa, our youth suffering mm -hmm. nini na hatutengenezi kazi mm -hmm. kutengeneza kazi ni kusema badala ya wale watu ambao wamekaa China kazi ziko China zinatengenezwa huko hizo sodo nini mm -hmm. nini mm -hmm. alafu tunaletewa Kenya zinapandishwa mara tatu mm -hmm. sasa tunasema wale wenye wanatengeneza kutoka Kenya tunawatolea tax ya importation of uh, raw materials mm -hmm. tunatolea tax yani tunatengeneza environment iwe mtu anasema enyewe mbona niende China kutengeneza na hapa ninaweza kutengeneza Nikuenye. kama you know at, at, at a good Nikuenye. price Nikuenye. so na unajua um, hii industry ya manufacturing, ya manufacturing. Uh -huh. na sana haswa hii ya sanitary towels uh -huh. hii ya sodo uh -huh. iko na makatel sana
sasa mimi nakwambia <laughs> nakwambia ni kitu ambayo nimekuwa nimekuwa ni advocate na nakwambia mm -hmm. ndio ukuje upate kuna yule ambaye anauza the same product mm -hmm. at 43 shillings mm -hmm. na mwingine anauza na 150 moja hamsini. Hamsini. Uh -huh. na unapata ba, ukiangalia tu product iko sawa uh -huh. nini iko the same uh -huh. lakini huyu wa 150 anatoa uh -huh. yake china kwa hivyo kumaanisha hata huko ameenda amenegotiate amepewa na bei ya chini kabisa akifika pale anaonyesha makaratasi hizi ni sodo halipi taxes mm. akifika pale unanipata anapandisha bei kabisa na huyu mwenye anaweka kwa shelf at 43 47 shillings mm. mm. ako tu hapa at river mm. Ame, ameleta kuna wamama wanafanya kazi wanafanya kazi anawalipa anawalipa maanisha ametengeneza nafasi za ajira kabisa mm -hmm. kwa hivyo hata wewe ukikaa pale kwa ile kiti ya president mm -hmm. uangalie useme tunajaribu kutengeneza ku, 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 kuongeza kazi yao youth wetu wapate kazi mm -hmm. mbona ni kuache wewe uendelee kuleta zile vitu kutoka China na nina, mpaka ninakupatia exemptions na kuna huyu ana struggle mm -hmm. na huyu ndio nina tax mm -hmm. mara tatu mm -hmm. lazima you know kila saa watu wanasema Oh Singapore tulikuwa the same na Nairobi mm. lakini Singapore ilifika mahali and they made difficult decisions, decisions ni kweli ni so kweli hata kata. sasa manake hakuna hakuna maamuzi utakayofanya ambayo yatafraiwa yata na kila mmoja kabisa. kuna wale watasema oh hapa inaniumiza kuna wale na unajua matokeo ya hii finance bill utaona kesho mm. utaona mwezi mbili mwezi tatu mm -hmm. ndio sasa watu waseme oh yani kumbe president wetu alikuwa anajaribu kufanya hivi sasa tumeelewa kwa hivyo mimi unajua nasema E, kuna vitu ambavyo tukishinda tukisema Singapore 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pia na hao watu waende kuona Singapore ni nini wali those difficult decisions wa, yeah, waulize ni, waulize ni, ni, ni nini waliwafikisha eh, walizochukua eh, eh, ikawafikisha mahali mm -hmm. ambapo na hiyo ndio kitu ambayo William Ruto anajaribu kufanya mm -hmm. ah. na kuna jambo moja mezungumzia kuhusu wanafunzi shuleni ambao pengine walikosa kama ni hizo sodo wanakwenda kutafuta pengine kutoka kwa ni kwa wanaume ambao pengine si wa umri wao ama mm -hmm. wanaume ambao baadaye wanajikuta wamepata ujauzito mm -hmm. Kuna taarifa moja nilifanya uh, kuhusu wasichana ambao wamefukuzwa shuleni ambao wamekosa karo pengine mtu alikuwa kidato cha kwanza kidato mm. cha pili madarasa la nane lakini akakosa karo ikambidi afukuzwe shule akae nyumbani kukaa nyumbani kumbuka kila mwezi hizo hazijui kama uko shule ama huko shule <laughs> akajikuta kwa katika ile hali uh, aki, aki, akajikuta kwa katika ile hali lakini katika ile hali sodo alikuwa anazipata akiwa shule. Hivi hayupo shule tuna maana yuko nyumbani maana lazima atafute. Na lazima atafute. Mm. Nilifanya taarifa moja Mhesh um, na ilikuwa inazungumzia ni wasichana ambao wametoka shule, hawakuwa na karo, wakaja nyumbani, hawana sodo kila mwezi, ikabidi wafanye vile vile kwenda mm. kutafuta wanaume, ima ni waboda boda, mm. ima ni wanaume tu wa kufanya biashara ndogo ndogo, ima ni wanaume tu wa makazi makubwa lakini mwisho wa kwisha apate shilingi ya kwenda kununua mm. nini? Kununua sodo. Sijui kama mna mpango gani na wasichana wa aina hiyo kama kwenye ule mswada wako wasichana kama hao pia pengine mume weza kuwazungumzia lakini naomba tuchukue mzigo mafupi mtazamaji atakaporudi <laughs> uh, mwesha atakuwa anatuelezea iwapo uh, wanafunzi ama wasichana kama hao watakuwa wanasaidika kivipijeo watarudishwa shule wafaidika kutoka shule ama watakuwa pana mpango wao wa kuweza kupata zile sodo pengine wakiwa nyumbani wakitarajia pengine kupata karo kurudi shule sende mbali mtazamaji tarudi muda si muda Chaburudani, mashaf, mashaf. Zifika bayi yo mechapa, kitame meja utahata, nyumbani kaume. Burudani, tuende tukacheze bango, 
Mama it takes two to tango Na interview kali kutoka Pwani E bwana kila siku ya Friday ama Ijumaa ukipenda saa 3 hadi saa sita kamili nafanya kama unacheza hizo kumbuka hashtag masha masha nyumbani kwa burudani usikose tegea show kali tokea pwani za pwani anachukua anaweka wa le general tangote anachukua anaweka wa le grand wa anachukua anaweka wa ndakufa ni waondoke toke mwende mbresh ubuka chini mam huku si kwetu si kwangu ni kwenu huku ni kwa budako unaonekana umepata jiko mimi siwezi mind aolewe tu na jabali of course what's happening to managers nowadays usio mtakona pesa kwa kuliko mnaenda wapi kwani ulimtishia ndo akonda ngambo well i'm not a coward to just up and leave i don't care what it takes but you're going nowhere keep dreaming <laughs> you know what, if you're okay with Mama Jabali being your co-wife, I'm not okay with Trish being here. How need you? Your handsome face will be all over very soon. Are you serious? Pete, my darling, I am here to stay. <laughs> ametuambia ametuahidi la azidan lakum mtawazidishieni yani iwe itakavyokuwa ikiwa e, sisi ni watu wenye kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu Allah atatuzidishia kwa neema mbalimbali ambazo kwamba tunazijua na zile tusizojua ikafikia kiwango ambacho nana Aisha radhiallahu anha aliweza kumuuliza hivi mbona wazidisha ibada kwa wingi sana wakati Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amekujalia neema basi mtume Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alijibu kwa kuuliza Ye, yeah, si paswi kuwa mja mwenye kumshukuru Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala ambaye ni Mola wangu. mtazamaji karibu tena na shukran kwa kusalia nasi na iwapo ndio unajiunga nasi basi tuko na mahojiano moja kwa moja na seneta Maalum Gloria Uruaba ambaye anashughulikia masuala ya wanawake na wasichana katika bunge la seneti na siku hii leo tunazungumzia uh, usalama wa hedhi ama hedhi salama uh, kwa nini tunazungumzia hiyo leo ni kwamba kesho yeye mwenye ana hafla fulani maalum ambayo anaifanya amekuwa akizungumzia hapa lakini tutampatia muda pia aweze kufafanua zaidi na pia kesho ni siku ya kimataifa ya hedhi salama ama international menstrual hygiene day yes na well, menstrual hygiene day yes itakuwa mm. inaadhimishwa kesho ambapo tarehe 27 mwezi mei kila no, mwaka itakuwa mm. May 28 itakuwa kwa hiyo itakuwa Jumapili e, itakuwa Jumapili ni mm. sawa lakini kesho tunafahamu kwamba unayo hafla yako utaizungumzia mm. <laughs> kabla ya mapumziko nilikuwa nimekurushia swali ngakwambia kuna wale ambao hujikuta wamekosa karo ya kwenda shule na wakarudi nyumbani mm. wakarudi nyumbani hali ni ile ngumu kama karo yenyewe hakuna utapata wapi uh, pesa ya kununua sodo mm. ikipatikana shilingi shiriki patikana mia <coughs> mtakwenda nunua mboga uh, unga wa kupika sima ama mtatafuta sodo Asa wengi wanajikuta katika hali ya kwamba wako katika hali ya tabani na wanatafuta mtu atakayemsaidia kama ni mia hamsini bora tu akapate uh, ile sodo sijui kama hawa walio nje ya shule pengine pia serikali itakuja kushughulikia kwamba kuona kwamba hawafukuzwi pia na shule kama uh, na karo kama tunavyoona baadhi ya shule zinavyofanya lakini je wapo mpangoni ama mmewaweka wapi hawa unajua hii maneno ya period poverty mm-hmm. uh, sijui niseme aje kwa Kiswahili lakini period poverty mm-hmm. Uh, kitu ambayo kinatufanya sasa tumefika mahali ambapo tunaongea maneno ya sodo uh-huh. na uh, ipatikani wasichana wetu wanatoka shule ni hiyo maneno ya poverty uh-huh. yeah? uh-huh. kwa hivyo ni hiyo maneno ya kusema kuwa watu hawajiwezi uh-huh. maana mradi wenyewe pia unalenga hawa uh-huh. watu hawajiwezi watu hawezi ku, 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 kupata kazi uh-huh. ili waweze kup, uh, you know, kupata Uh, pesa kidogo mm-hmm. wajiangalie mm-hmm. maneno ya ya hygiene na nini mm-hmm. na nini mm-hmm. na ndio kwa maana ninakuambia as much as eh, nasukuma sana hizi um, sodo zipewe kwa shule na prisons mm-hmm. 
kitu ambayo pia nasukuma na with different stakeholders ni kuwa hizi kazi ambazo tunashinda tukipeleka China. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Kwa unajua ukinunua vitu China ni kazi umepeleka China. Umepeleka. Yeah. Eh, ukienda so, kuchukua zile final products zao unawapatia eh, nafasa kwamba wanahitaji kutengeneza tena. Wa, kutengeneza tena. Eh. Na ukienda kitu yoyote hata kama ni nguo ama ni nini. Mm -hmm. Anything that we are actually importing mm -hmm. na tuko na hiyo uh, capability mm -hmm. ya kutengeneza locally mm -hmm. inamaanisha we kitu ambao umefanya umepeleka kazi zetu wapi huko nje. Mm -hmm. Na tukiangalia sana sana hii maneno ya ya sodo. Mm -hmm. Watu hawataki kukuambia ya kuwa mm -hmm. ndio Kenya ilikuwa um, inchi ya kwanza mm huku -hmm. Afrika kutoa hiyo policy. Mm -hmm. uh, menstrual management policy. Mm -hmm. Menstrual hygiene management, management policy. policy. Uh -huh. Na ndio that is a very big step kwa sababu watu wengine hawakuwa na hiyo policy kusema oh serikali itafanya hivi institutions zifanye hivi na nini na nini yani kutu guide kutuambia kuwa ndio tufike mahali ambapo tunataka kuwa lazima tu, tuweke hizi mikakati mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pia watu watakuambia Kenya tuko mbele kwa sababu what we did tu, tuli zero rate taxes ya sodo. Mm -hmm. Kumaanisha kuna taxes zingine ambazo hizo sodo azi, azi, hazina. Hazina. Mm -hmm. Aya. Pia watu watakuambia watu hawata kuambia kuwa hiyo maneno ya kutoa importation tax ndio imetufanya sasa tumebaki katika hii maneno ya period poverty mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. kwa sababu kazi zote ambazo tungetengeneza mm -hmm. kwa hiyo manufacturing ya sodo hapa locally mm -hmm. tumechukua tumepeleka wapi tumepeleka nje kwa, kwa, kwa hivyo ushuru umeondolewa kwenye ile final product yes lakini raw materials bado ziko na ushuru wewe ukileta hiyo pads kutoka china hakuna taxes una, hakuna importation tax una, unachajiwa hakuna tax hapo lakini mimi nikisema ninataka kufungua pale factory ya Thriver ama Mlolongo ama IPZD right na niseme nataka sasa kuleta ile material ya kutengeneza hiyo pads mm. nini kwa sababu mm. material zingine zinaimportiwa mm. mimi hiyo material nitawekewa 100% taxes mm. importation mm. tax mm. kwa hivyo ni kama unaambia watu wachani kule, kuweka kazi hapa Kenya mm. pelekeni kazi mm. nje mm. Mwishoe tunakuja tunasema ho watu hawajiwezi hawezi kununua hizi mm, sodo. Mm, hawajiwezi mm, kwa sababu hawana kazi. Mm, kwa hivyo lazima as much as we are dealing with the bill na kusema watoto wa shule na wale ambao wako prisons wapate lazima pia tuseme hizo kazi za, zenye zinapelekwa nje kwa sababu ya kutengeneza sodo mm, tuzirudishe. Ni kweli, ni kweli Na tukirudisha hizo kazi mm, unaona kama zile uh, tukiwa na hizo tenders za Ministry mm, of Education. Mm, mm, Ukienda pale ya kuna kampuni moja ina, ina produce locally. Mm, wakiwa wanapata ile tenda ya kutengeneza hizo uh, sodo wana employ over 2000 casual laborers just for that tender kumaanisha during that period hao wanawake ama wanaume 2000 mm -hmm. ukienda kwa ma, ukienda mahali ambapo wanatoka kwa nyumba zao mm -hmm. si sasa wako mpata kitu ya, ku, ya kununua eh, sodo mm, cha ku, kupata shilingi yeah. ya kununua kwa hivyo the, the, the reality is lazima tu address maneno ya poverty mm. lazima tu, tu, tu tuseme ndio it is good tulitoa importation tax tulifanya nini lakini imefika mahali sasa badala itusaidie sisi kama wasichana inakuja sasa ndio kutukata miguu vizuri sasa tukiwaambia hizi pads ambazo zinatoka China uh -huh. ziongezwe hiyo tax uh -huh. Kwa sababu sasa hapo ndio wale 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 ambao wanajiweza kabisa wamesema ah kama ni hivyo wacha nilete hizo pads nyingi Nyingi na nime flood nayo market na mimi ndio na control hiyo price ya market kwa sababu mimi nimeweka nime shelf kila mahali wale wana produce locally hata wanashindwa kufika pale kwa supermarket waseme niwekeni zangu hapa kwa hivyo lazima sisi Ilo tuseme lazima sisi naonekana. tuseme pia sisi eti tunaongeza hiyo ushuru kwa sababu tunataka kuongeza ushuru tunaongeza hiyo ushuru ndio hao watu waone aya kama sasa imekuwa unfavorable mm. ku import hiyo uh, sanitary mm. towel basi wacha na mimi ile pesa nimetengeneza hizi miaka zote mm. nikiweka hiyo bei kiwe mara tatu wacha na mimi ninunue machine nilete wa mama 100 500 wapate Kwe. kazi kisha nao wawe, wajiweze mm -hmm. waweze kununua hizo mm -hmm. sodo. Mm -hmm. So in the long term you have to approach it from two directions. Kuna hiyo legislation na kuna hiyo policy, policy. and a guideline yenye itasema tunataka kurudisha kazi zetu hapa Kenya. Ni kweli. Mm. Hiyo ni nukta nzuri sana. Mm. Watoto wa kurandaranda mitaani wamo katika mpango wako? Unajua kwanza hiyo shida ya watoto kurandaranda mitaani ndio oh, nakwambia lazima lazima mm. pia to deal nayo not from a point of uh, sodo mm. but mbona tuko na watoto eh, wako mtaani from the family eh. social family. Na unajua governor wetu wa Nairobi anakuja kesho yeye ndo ataflag off ile benki yetu mm -hmm. Glows Pad Bank. Mm -hmm. Na najua hapa Nairobi yako na mpango 
sawa ya kutukondoa uh, street families mm-hmm. eh, na unajua hiyo maneno ya kuwa na street families mm-hmm. ni kwa sababu watu wajiwezi hawana kazi. kazi unapata mtu ameenda shule akona degree akona phd ako kwa streets ni kweli kwa sababu kazi zote tumepeleka china kazi zote hata uki, ukiangalia <laughs> industry ya, ya ICT mm-hmm. uwe, kama sasa nikikuuliza we unajua ukisave kitu kwa, kwa, kwa Google Drive mm-hmm. inaenda wapi mm-hmm. si inaenda nje mm-hmm. kwa sababu hiyo driver iko hapa mm-hmm. so even the data center industry kazi zote tumepeleka nje mm-hmm. hizo kazi ndio sasa ukiangalia vile ambavyo president wetu William Ruto uh-huh. anajaribu kurudisha hizo kazi kwa kusema kuwa wale ambao wanataka kuleta vitu za China tuja kukataza uh-huh. lakini ilipa ushuru ya kuingiza hizo vitu tuzungumzie ida, idadi ama kiwango ambacho wa, ah, wanafunzi kwa sasa wanapata ni sodo ngapi wanapata ili wanapewa kwa mwezi ama zinapewa kwa mwaka kwa sababu ya una mpango uh, waziongezwe pengine zifike kiasi gani ndio ziweze kutosheleza unajua kwanza vile ambavyo hiyo hiyo program ilikuwa imewekwa kwa sababu walikuwa hawakuwa na pesa nyingi eh? mm-hmm. lakini vile ambavyo leke hiyo program mm-hmm. ni kama ni, ni kama ni wanaume ambao hawakuwa naelewa maneno ya ya <laughs> ya naonaambiwa maneno ya wanawake achia wanawake wenye washirikia kabisa lakini mm-hmm. hata si hivyo mm-hmm. mimi sasa ninasema ndio maana hata kesho naambia watu wewe kuja kama mwanaume mm-hmm. kuja pale KICC mm-hmm. kwa sababu uko na bibi mm-hmm. uko na uko na sister uko na watoto uh-huh. na huelewi maneno ya menstruation mm-hmm. uko na hata wafanyikazi ambao sasa ni unapata kuna mwanaume yeye hana shida anajikakamua anafanya kazi anaenda ananunua paketi mbili kila mwaka na anaona amekusaidia ame kabisa. Anaona amefanya kazi, yeah. amefanya bidii. Kwa sababu hakuna mtu anamwambia by the way, impact eh, mbili hata paketi mbili hata mwezi mmoja mm, haiwezani. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. unanipata mm-hmm. kwa hivyo hata hiyo sensitization na education kutoka shule mm-hmm. kutoka shule mm-hmm. lazima wacha hiki tu ati ukienda ku distribute pads mm-hmm. ati watu wanaambiwa wasichana kaeni kando wavlana to able to excuse kidogo ndio mm-hmm. tuongee maneno ya wasichana mm-hmm. sasa mkiendelea hivyo haya na vijana sasa wana, wanaendelea hawajui Hawa maneno ilewi. hawaelewi kwa hivyo <coughs> vile ambavyo ukiangalia um, hii hii program ilikuwa inafanywa hapo awali mm-hmm, na serikali mm-hmm. uki, ukiangalia vizuri ni kama wale ambao walikuwa me execute mm-hmm. hawakukuwa na hiyo information kwa sababu msichana mimi mm-hmm. ninatumia paketi kama tatu mm-hmm. mwezi Ama, mmoja hata nne mm-hmm. Mwezi because ina depend kama kuna heavy flow mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. utatumia siku Kabisa. moja maybe utatumia packet nzima hata inaweza ishama hata sita asubuhi eh. asubuhi kiketi kidogo kido uh-huh. nini mm-hmm. unatumia maybe kama pads mm-hmm. tano, tano. Eh. Mm-hmm. na unajua packet moja iko na pads eight, eight. nane kuna saba na nane eh. mm-hmm. so unapata depending on the flow kuna wasichana watatumia packet moja mm-hmm. na kuna wengine watatumia packet nne lakini sasa kuweka average unasema maybe packet mbili kila, mbili, kila mwezi, mwezi. Kamsa. So kama ni paketi mbili kila mwezi na mwezi tuko na ngapi? 12. Miezi 12. Eh, mm. So ukifanya hiyo hesabu zile pads zilikuwa zinapewa wasichana mm-hmm. azifiki ni chache kabisa. Ni chache kabisa. Alafu si hata hivyo. Unajua kwa sababu ya logistics mm-hmm. lazima u distribute for the year. Uwezi shinda umetuma malori zimeenda kila, kila mwezi kwa sababu hiyo cost unaweza kuweka at least isaidie mambo mengine eh, mambo mengine. Kwa hivyo wanaenda kila kila mwaka ndio inadistributiwa. Kwa hivyo wanafaa wafanye ile hesabu kila mwaka msichana moja anatumia mbili uh, kila mwezi msichana moja anatumia paketi mbili mm-hmm. kwa hivyo msichana moja atatumia paketi ngapi alafu ndio zikifika pale kwa shule unaambiwa msichana chukua ile stock yako upeleka nyumbani mm-hmm. kwa hivyo mm-hmm. for this year wewe tumemalizana na wewe uh-huh. sasa hapo ndio pia shida ilikuwa inakuja shule zingine unaona wanakuambia haya weka kwa store tutakuwa tunakupatia oh, sa, uh, vile ambavyo unahitaji uh-huh. zikiwekwa uh-huh. kwa store mtu anafungua ah, duka pale nje ah. anaanza kuuza unaona <laughs> haya so zingine unapata wanaambiwa kila uh, term school term ndio tunakupatia mm-hmm. lakini zenye zinabaki badala zibaki weke for the next school term unapata na sasa the teachers wanachukua, wanachukua hapo kwa sababu unajua hii maneno ya period si wasichana wa, wa shule peke yake uh-huh, uh-huh. wa, wasichana wa mama kila mtu si tuko na period labda huko mbele ukienda menopause ndio ishe eh. so kila mtu anahitaji uh-huh, hata uh-huh. walimu anahitaji walimu hawezi kukupea kama yeye ana na hata kama na, lakini eh. shida ni kwamba ama changamoto ni kwamba hata kama ana uwezo wa, ku, wa kuweza kununua hiyo sodo ana lazima achukue ile ile iliyoko pale kwa stock <laughs> sasa unajua hiyo hiyo control na hiyo mm. ndio tunakuambia mm. kuna vitu ambavyo hawakufikiria hawa sana hawa. kwa hivyo unapata ndio serikali inafanya kazi yake eh, imenunua eh, zikishafika pale shule aujui vile ambavyo zinagawa mm. manini na nini ni kweli. Eh.
Mwesho likuwa mezungumzia uh, uh, ratba yako ya kesho ama umezungumzia tu kwa juju mpango mm. wa kesho ama hafla ya kesho nzima. Pengine utupatutu kwa kamilifu ratba. <coughs> Muna anza sangapi na kita kachofanyika ni nini. Je, pia muta, mutazipatiana kwa pengine mkihudhuria ama mkitembelea mita duni. Muta kesho, toa sodoka dhaa pale. Tunataka kusherekea mm. maneno ya menstruation. Mm -hmm. Na unajua tu wanasema sasa nyinyi watu celebrating menstruation why because nawaambia kama hakunge kuwa na menstruation we mwenyewe aunge kuwa hai mm. unge kuwa hai kwa sababu <laughs> kila mtu ambaye ako, 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 ako on this uh, world mm -hmm. is there because of a missed period mm -hmm. kuna mwanamke alikosa kupata ile hedhi ikawa ilikuwa ako, ako na mimba amena amepata ujauzito <laughs> kweli kabisa <laughs> kwa hivyo lazima unajua sasa tukisema wasichana wote duniani Wata, wata koma kabisa kupata periods inamanisha kuwa humanity is finished mm, inaisha kabisa mm, kwa sababu mm, sasa watoto watatoka mm, sin mm, hivyo mm, kwa hivyo kesho tunataka ku celebrate menstruation and we'll do it in style tunaanza asubuhi na mapema 8am mimi nitakuwa pale KICC mm -hmm. tutaanza na road show mm -hmm. road show track inaanza pale KICC mm -hmm. so we flag it off tuanze road show tutazunguka zunguka tuzunguke Nairobi mpaka mahali hapo muda utaisha mm -hmm. tukizunguka mm -hmm. tunaenda tukipatiana hizo sodo mm -hmm. na pia tunaenda tukiongelesha wanaume pia kuambia menstruation is normal mm -hmm. kwa hivyo wewe ukiona eh, girlfriend wako anakaa anasumbuka kidogo muulize kwanza kama utamsaidia vipi mm -hmm. eh mm -hmm. kama utamsaidia na unajua sasa zingine tuko tuko na hizo cramps mm -hmm. nini nini mm -hmm. kwa hivyo we want you know this is not an easy maneno ya wamama mm -hmm. na wasichana mm -hmm. this is a community issue it should be approached as a community issue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we will be sensitizing people tunaongelesha kuwa menstruation iko hivi nini inafanyika tutawacha hii maneno ya period shaming mm. kama vile ambavyo walinifanyia pale senate tunajua hiyo kama singekuwa mtu ambaye niko na thick skin <laughs> Unajua ingefika mahali eh, ina affect mtu sana. Psychologically. Yeah, psychologically hiyo mm -hmm. kufukuzwa kuchekelewa mm -hmm. ati sasa ume you have stained your clothes mm -hmm. nini nini. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Ukiangalia um, tuko na msichana ambaye anaitwa Jacqueline mm -hmm. uh, kutoka county ya Bomet. Mm -hmm. 2019 unajua msichana alijua 14 year old girl kwa sababu ya kus... kwa sababu ilimtendekea pale shuleni uh -huh. akaanza akaanza periods yake uh -huh. hakukuwa na sodo uh -huh. hiyo damu ikaenda kwa uniform uh -huh. Uh -huh. akisimama hivi mwalimu akamwambia maneno ambayo yule msichana akasikia haya akasikia uh -huh. vibaya uh -huh. msichana aliporudi nyumbani akajiua uh -huh. Na hiyo ni vibaya mwalimu mwalimu mzima ambaye unaelewa mambo kama hayo na unamwambia mtoto mdogo na sasa mimi ambayo mimi, mimi si nilikuwa bunge na, wali, na ni wangapi walikuwa wananiambia mm, maneno unanipata uwezi kusema ti mwalimu mzima na, na mimi nikiwa bunge aha. Uh, ukiwa yeah. na wenye kutengeneza sheria wenye kutengeneza sheria wale ambao mm. na wale si watu ambao wajaenda shule ni wale ndio watu wameenda shule ni lakini bado kwa sababu labda hiyo maneno hawaelewi vizuri ama ile cultures ambayo wali, wali kuna watu walikuwa nasema wewe ukiwa na period hata biblia inasema haufai kuonekana mm. haufai kufanya nini mm. haufai hata kushika biblia Ha? Kwa hivyo hizi ni hizi ni vitu ambavyo tunafaa kuongea. Kuzungumzia. Tuna, tukiongea tuzungumze nini nini watu wanaelewa Allah. Mm -hmm. Kumbe kitu ni serious mtu anaweza pata stress aende mm -hmm. akajiwe. Mm -hmm. Mtoto wa 14 years mm -hmm. aelewi at that moment Yani, anataka anataka muongozo. Anataka anataka ukae zungumze na mwambie imefanyika hivi hey. lakini usiwe na wasiwasi. Unapata walimu ni mambo ya kawaida. Wanafukuza mm, watoto mm, shule mm, wanakuambia sasa hii imekufanyikia. Wewe kwani huku beba sanitary mm, towel mm, huku kuwa na pads. Mm, Hebu toka kwa darasa uache kutuaibisha kutunukia hapa nini nini. Sasa vitu kama hivyo vinaendelea shuleni. Mm. Na yeah. mwisho tukimalizia malizia, malizia. Mm. Uh, kutakuwa pengine na na, na, na nambari fulani ambayo. Oh kwa hivyo uh -huh. kwanza tule, tukimaliza road show. Uh -huh. Tutarudi pale KICC uh -huh. saa 6 12 uh -huh. uh, governor wa Nairobi Sakaja ata flag hiyo uh, beki container hiyo ya kwanza, kwanza glows mm, pad bank mm, mm. ikifunguliwa sasa watu waanze kuweka contribution zao za mm, pads ndani mm, so sisi mm -hmm. tunasema mkuje KICC mm -hmm. hatucharge entrance mm -hmm. lakini ukifika pale kwa entrance mm -hmm. wewe nunua sanitary towel rusha pale ndani ingiza pale ndani alafu uh -huh. ndo uingie uweze ku, uh -huh. kuambiwa maneno ya menstruation tutakuwa na band pale uh -huh. tutakuwa na tutakuwa sherehe tutakuwa sherehe kabisa na, tutakuwa na uh, watu ambao watatuongelesha vitu ambavyo vitu vingi watu watuelewi hata kama zile product nini nini 
uh, kuna wanasheria ambao wanakuja uh, some MPs and senators are coming so mm -hmm. it is an opportunity hata mm -hmm. wewe ukuje mm -hmm. uulize wale MP wako mm -hmm. eh, na nyinyi sasa huku kwetu kwa constituency tutafanya nini, nini? <laughs> tuko na um, waziri ambao wanakuja kusupport kwa sababu unajua hii maneno inashika maneno ya gender mm. inashika maneno ya maji maneno ya education, education maneno ya environment mm. kwa hivyo nimewatumia invitation nikamwambia mm. waziri tafadhali kuja pia nyinyi mm. tushereheke alafu tutamaliza hapo around five o'clock mm -hmm. lakini wewe kama hujafika by 12 mm -hmm na hujapata gavana wa Nairobi Sakaja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unajua Sakaja amekuwa very ame pronounce his support for this cause. Uh -huh. Na kuna vitu ambavyo wanafanya mm -hmm. na pale utaweza hata at least muulize si uongeleshe yule gavana wetu wa so and so mm -hmm. at least na yeye. Na yeye uh, bali pale kwa... kama huu. <laughs> na pengine kama 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 sitakuja mm -hmm. kesho lakini nina mpango kwamba nije nirushe ni kitu pale kwenye kile kibenki. Nitakuwa na na jao wapi ama na fani ende Kwa hivyo tume tume partner na tumeshikana na kuna wale manufacturers wa, wa hizi sodo mm. na tuko na wengi tuko na wengi mbali mbali si ati tunasema ni huyu ama yule mm -hmm. lakini tumepata na moja mm -hmm. ametupatia pay bill ambayo iko dedicated kwa Glows Pad mm -hmm. Bank near pads mm -hmm. na wa, wamesema uh, hao hiyo pay bill aku, it, zote zenye zinaenda kwa hiyo pay bill mm -hmm. zitakuwa zinaingizwa kwa hii benki yangu yes, tukifungua benki nyingine kwingine kutakuwa na tofauti pia hao wanaendelea kupeleka hizo oh, e, okay. kwa hivyo wametupatia pay bill dedicated kwa hivyo you can purchase buy a sanitary towel mm -hmm. directly from the supplier wako na pay bill ni sema pay bill ama bado pay bill unaweza kuisema pay bill mm -hmm. 8002425 Eh, ukiuliza account number unaweka jina yako ndio lakini mtaiweka rasmi kesho tutaiweka rasmi na, na pia usi, usione tutaenda kwa supermarket tuchukue zile za bei ya juu ya supermarket ndio mm, mm, kuje nazo hapana mm, mm, wewe kuja tu hivyo pale on site mm, tuko na huyo supplier oh, na bei yake pale. Eh, unanunua directly hapo kwa KICC kwa hivyo mm -hmm. usifikiri wa, wacha nipite supermarket eh, nichukue wewe kuja pale. KICC nunua pale tume negotiate wanatupatia bei nzuri utanunua directly unaingiza pale kwa hiyo bei shukran <laughs> <laughs> ni mazungumzo ambayo hayawezi kuisha na alisali moja ama nusu saa ama hata siku moja. Sikia kesho wako na hafla ya siku nzima. Kwa hivyo ni mazungumzo yeah. ambayo yatakuwa ni kwa mapana na marefu lakini na imani kwamba umepata mawili matatu ni ruhusu tu nikamilishe papo mahojiano yangu na seneta maalum Gloria Oroba ambaye anashirikia masuala ya wanawake na wasichana katika bunge la seneti. Mtazamaji usiende mbali tunaporudi itakuwa muda si muda. zawadi za mafanzo ah wachana na hizi nataka nikuambia kwamba dunda ndio hivyo tena imerejea ndani ya KBC Channel 1 kuanzia Ijumaa hii itakuwa ndani au ni aje bro ah. nakwambia maswala michakato habari mitazamo mahojiano na masuala yote ya sport yanayopokea moja kwa moja kutoka dunda dunda ndani ya KBC Channel 1 kila siku ya Ijumaa lakini yote tisa bwana Usisahau ya kwamba mashabiki pia huku napo hatujawaacha nyuma. Au sio? Zawadi hapa ni Dunda Dunda viwanjani ndani ya KBC Channel 1. Mambo moto moto. Au sio? He doesn't know I'm 10 steps ahead. I'm sure they didn't come to console you. I can handle them. Rudisha hiyo, rudisha hiyo. Hii nyumba inataikana hiyo imefurika watu kabisa kabisa. Ni mapema sana. Unajua sisi ni akina nani? Tunaomba muondoke. I just came to run some errands for Nick. Then you just tell that family to adopt you. You 
are sick. Not having breakfast with us? Millicent. Tiffany is mourning. She must be broken. He's in a better place, it's okay. None of his children were there during his last days. None of us, Tiff. Once daddy six feet under, we're all alone. Who else is here? Sikuwingi. How have you been? Uh, jazz. But that's why we have each other. Namaste, namaste. Namaste, namaste.
shaka mtazamaji shukran sana iko hivi sasa ni sambili na dakika nne sana za kanda Afrika Mashariki alikwisha maliza awamu ya kwanza na ya pili mwenzangu kamchemeza taarifa ya habari kisha kwenye mazungumzo bayana ama mambo bayana akawa naye seneta mteule Big Gloria Orobo akizungumzia masuala ya usalama wa usafi wa hedhi mtazamaji lakini kwa sasa karibu sana kwenye kitengo chetu cha B Maliwaza mamduara wa Maliwaza na leo amna yale eh, kwa sababu ya muda wajua tatizo muda tatizo muda mtazamaji na baadaye baadaye tutakuwa tunaungana ama tutakuwa tunakwenda moja kwa moja katika jumba refu zaidi katika taifa ile la Kenya eh, pale Times Tower ambapo rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya daktari William Samoei Ruto anatarajiwa leo kuweza kujaza nini kufile returns sasa rais yuko mstari wa mbele mtazamaji kuweza kufile returns na wewe pia usichoke kumbuka mwisho ni tarehe ngapi 30 angalau kwa 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 mambo mengine lakini yote tisa mtazamaji leo hii ndani ya mduara wa Maliwaza mimi na Kamche tutakuwa tu ni watazamaji wapenzi watazamaji au wapenzi watangazaji lakini ndani ya studio mtazamaji sijui kama ushalikuta swala kama hili pengine umeoa mahali ambapo pale mahali ambao umeoa labda kabila lako dini yako ni tofauti na ukaweza kupata unyanyasa 
unanyanyapaa pale maalum ukaweza kubezwa ukaweza kutelekezwa sababu tu ya kabila lako dini yako leo ndani ya studio tunaye bi Julia ambaye atatueleza kwa kifupi kisa chake cha yaliyomkuta ambapo ndipo kitatengeneza mduara mzima wa bima liwaza upande ule yuko kamche menza katikati yuko bima liwaza abdala aka mapesa mapesa alafu julia yuko hapa baba tu uh, tuanze moja kwa moja bi julia tueleze kwa kifupi tu kisa chako alafu tuingie kwenye mduara kwa kifupi tu yale kukuta okay nashukuru sana kwa mahali hapa uh, mimi nilipatana na na bwanangu na alikuwa kabila mwingine of which sikuwa nimeitarajia kwa maisha yangu na kama kwetu babangu hange itikia kamwe nakumbuka nilipomwambia akaniambia huku kwangu hapana sitaki kabila ingine isipokuwa ile ulio so na mimi nilikuwa nimesha amua kwa moyo nimempenda huyu mtu so ilikuwa tatizo especially kwa jamii yangu kwao hakukuwa na shida sana kwa sababu uh, walikuwa wameshaniamkia mamake watu wao hawakuwa na shinda bali kwetu ilikuwa tatizo kubwa babangu alikuwa amekataa kabisa na hata akafika mahali akaniambia kama nitaoleka huko na mimi nisahau ya kwamba mimi ni bibi uh, ni binti yake kwa hivyo ilibidi tukakaka ndio tusonge tuone kama babangu ataitikia na sijui kama ni mapenzi ya Mungu ama ni kulifanyikaje babangu akaaga mbele kama sijaoleka kwa hivyo alipoaga na tukamzika sasa ni kama ikawa kwangu ni nimepata jia ya haraka kuingia katika ndoa ya kabila ingine odo uh, ndugu zangu na Uh, mama yangu wali still wali walikata wanagairi eh mm. wali walisema sasa huko mnasikianga wanafanyanga hivi tambia zao kacha zao hizo hatuwezi sasa unaenda kujitupa huko yani it was too much mpaka sasa nikawa hata pendo hili ni kama ninataka kulikata mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lakini the more huyu uh, mjamaa naye akaniambia hapana pendo halina kabila mm -hmm. mm -hmm pendo ni nyinyi wawili. Hatuko mm -hmm. hapa kuwaona kwa ajili ya watu ama wazazi. Mm -hmm. Ni sisi tumejiamua kupendana. Mm -hmm. So yeye akanitia nguvu na ikafika mahali tukafanya ndoa. Na kuingia katika ndoa sasa hapo ndio inakuwa shinda juu utaenda kwao hauelewi kabila, hauelewi lugha. Mm -hmm. So utakuwa unawaangalia hapo na pengine unaona wananisengenya mm -hmm. ama wanipendi mm -hmm. ama wanaongeaje. Mm -hmm. So inakuwa ngumu kabla muelewane tena mipangilio ya mambo zao na mielekeo na kufanya kwa mambo inakuwa wewe ni ngumu kuingia haraka shikili hapo hapo bijulia asante sana kwa kuweza kutuelezea mkutasaro ile lokupita mm. na pole kwa yote aliyokusibu na pole vile vile pia kuondokewa na baba mm. mtazamaji kabla kuweza kuapisha wenzangu vile vile pia naarifiwa kwamba wakati wote kuanzia sasa tutakuwa tunaenda katika hoteli ya Villa Rosa Kempinski ambapo waziri wa michezo mheshimiwa babu na muomba atakuwa nakutana na wadau wa mbio za magari WRC mwaka 2023 ambapo ni safari rali mtazamaji kumbuka ni mashindano ambayo yalikuwa katika taifa la Kenya ya kondoka lakini yamerudi tena. Kwa hiyo wakati wote kuanzia sasa tutakuwa tunavuka milima na mabonde hadi katika hoteli ya Kempinski ambapo waziri mheshimiwa babu na muomba atakuwa nakutana na wadau wa mbio za magari WRC mwaka 2023 safari rali na vile vile pia baadaye baadaye tutakuwa tunakupeleka katika jumba la Times Tower ambapo Rais William Ruto anatarajiwa kufanya litani zake za KRA kisha kuutubu na kisha vile vile pia atakuwa na ziara rasmi kule Embo. Lakini turudi kwenye mjadara. Uh, <coughs> mama nadhani kisa tumeweza kusikia habala na nadhani kisa tumeweza kukisikia no. labda tu kwa mtazamo wako mama je ni sawa katika ulimwengu wa kileo tuweze kuchagua wapenzi au tuweze kuoa kwa misingi ya dini au ya kikabila hiyo mm -hmm. nani kumbusha kamte maana usema <laughs> ya zamani yalipitwa <laughs> twende <laughs> na mbio hii kwa sasa kulingana na kizazi cha sasa hatuwezi kuelekea vile tuko tukielekea kule nyuma maana si wengi watakubaliana wata na huo mwenendo 
kila mtu anapenda ule anapenda namleta hata wazungu twaletewa ndani ya nyumba hata really? wahindi sasa twaletewa ndani ya nyumba na uwezi pinga kwa sababu ni chaguo la kijana ama ni chaguo la msichana mimi upande wa kusema ati kabila huo pia ndio unaleta mambo mengi dunia yetu ya Kenya kusambaratika kwa sababu kila mtu atakamvute kabla yake karibu mm. na ambapo hiyo ni kupotea mm. ujui unaweza mpata kabila lingine ukaingia kule madili yao yakakufanya ukapanuka mm. na yakakufanya eh, 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 mm. ikakufanya mpaka ukatajirika watu wakashangaa mm. na pia unaweza kuwa si kabila lao ukienda kule ukaja na mtindo ule wa kule kwao mm. ukauleta kwa boma lenu mm kukaendelea. Upande wa dini naye, hapo kwa dini ndio mimi ningesema ha pengezingatiwa. Kwa sababu dini wewe umezaliwa kwa kwa ile dini. Huyu mwanzako amezaliwa kwa kwa dini yake. Hatuwezi oana vile wewe unakwenda kanisani, mimi na nenda msikitini. Pale itakuwa na uzito ama wewe unakwenda dini yako. Ni nyinyi wawili wale mmewa namna kachi. Nasema mimi nenda dhaibu fulani unaonaje utanikubali tuone pale mtakaa kikao mjadiliane muulizane swali kama wewe utasikia uende upande ule mwenzako kwa sababu ya pendi na ya penzi na ukaona maisha yako ndio atakuwa bora yataendelea hapo ni sawa na kama utaenda kwa dini ya huyu mwingine pia na iwekwe wazi mpaka wazazi wajue sio mfanye nyinyi wawili baadaye siku kwa sababu hatuna ehe hatuna agreement na Mwenyezi Mungu kufike siku yako imefika kuchukuliwa mm. sasa tena tuanze mambo hizi zikuwa huku hizi zikuwa kwa sababu hamkuyatoa mapema wazi mm. mimi upande wa dini naweza simamia ya kusema hapo ni nyinyi wawili wale mwataka kushirikiana kindoa kujua wewe umeridhika na ule mume amekwambia kweli wewe ukaona dini ile ameomba pia wewe imekuridhisha umfuate na kama wewe ni mtoto wa kike pia ukiona mimi uko akuridhiki mnaweza ongea mkaeleana mkajua vile mtatatoe ilo tatizo mm. mm -hmm. bila shaka acha tumsikilize Boyshard uh, mheshimiwa Abdalla mambo naona na mambo pale amsumbua kwenye kichwa mm. <laughs> <laughs> na kwa kweli samani dadangu kwa yale kupata Jambo la kwanza nataka kukuambia kwamba mjomba hakuna kitu nzito kama mapenzi na mapenzi huwa mm. ambapo ukikatizia mtu kumpenda mwenzake ambaye Mungu labda ndiye amempatia kama mababu lake mm. wewe unaingilia kati ya kwamba itikadi ya zamani wa kusoma kweli hapo unamaribia maisha yake kwa sababu kwa mfano kama ni mtoto wa kike alikuwa ameshampenda jamaa alafu kisha baadaye wewe ukaingilia kati ukata kata kwamba mimi simtaki mara nyingi kuna watu wengi ambao huyu msichana sasa atakataa atasema kwamba umekata kuniunga mkono mm. ye pia atatupilia mbali akitoka mm. hapo huyu huenda akipata ndoa nyingine au ni kama anaridhika mm. anasema kwamba mimi narudi nyumbani maana akili yake bado eh, iko kule kule iko kule kule unaona aja, roho yake jahama wajua mwanamke upenda na roho hata mm. akitoka mahali roho yake bado iko pale anamwaza tu yule mm. anaweza akaja akafa nyumbani akifa nyumbani sasa pale mmeleta tena laana pale nyumbani kwa sababu amekufa akilie ya kwamba mimi ningekufa kwangu hakuna mm. kitu cha muhimu kwa msichana ikiwa amekufa kwa, kwa, kwa kina msichana ana kwao mm. kwa kina msichana ni mahali atazikwa mm. mahali ataoleka hizi mm. itikadi zikuwa za kale ambapo unapata kwamba mababu zetu walikuwa wanapigana unapata kwamba kabila hili ama unapata kwamba jamii hili na jamii ile wanapigana sasa unapata kwamba huyu ana hapa ikiwa damu yangu itakuja kuoa kuingineko mm. mimi nasema kwamba nimeilani lakini wakati kama huu mimi nimezaliwa kule Ulaya vipi utaniambia kwamba ni sije nikawa ni, 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 zungu mm. nije ni wewe huku kama mimi sijaoa kabila yangu mm. na ninashukuru sana mamangu bana kimamangu alisema kwamba mimi nita penda yule ambaye utaniletea mm. nikaoa msichana ambaye ametoka kuingineko na sijaona tatizo lolote wewe una ikiwa ni mambo ya dini dini ipo na ni, dini mtaongea nyinyi wawili muelewane kwa sababu mapenzi ni ya watu wawili tu muabudu Mungu mmoja mm. hamna Mungu wa Muislamu hamna Mungu wa Mkristo mm. Mungu ni huyu mmoja sasa hao wakija pamoja waelewane alhamdulillah mnaweza mkaoana muendelee mbariki jamii cha msingi inalotakikana kwa wazazi wajue siku hizi mm. saidiani 
hawa vijana kupendana mm. hapo mnatema baraka mm. na hiyo mate ya baraka itafanya wani, wanawili utafungilia milango ya, ya baraka, baraka pesa ita, itaingia maradhi atakuwa mbali na wao kwa sababu mshatamka baraka lakini ikiwa na kinyongo mm. kuna uzito ndani yako mm. usema kwamba wewe umeolewa umeoa mtu msichana kutoka mali fulani mm. na wewe umeolewa na mtu kutoka mali fulani mm. unamzuia umsichana kupata hata mtoto wewe unamfunga mm. unamfunga msichana kuendelea ya kindoa kwa hiyo baraka inatoka kwa wazazi wote wawili mm. na pia vile vile katika mashehe na mapasta wanataka unatuatamka baraka wakiomba ikiwa mnaleta mambo ya kufunga funga basi hawa wengine watu watakuwa tu kama sasa mimi upata msichana na danga tu mlishamwaribia anaona kwamba hakuna haja kuolewa Aya, shikilia hapo hapo mwenzangu Abdalla mambo ntarudi kwako mtazamaji kama tuliweza kukwambia mambo ni mengi mda ndo huo na moja kwa moja mtazamaji tutakuwa tunakupeleka katika hoteli ya Villa Rosa Kempiski hapa jijini Nairobi ambapo mashindano ya safari rali yanaadhimisha mwaka wake wa sabini na vile vile pia atakuwa yanafanyika humu nchini ambapo kwa sasa waziri wa michezo mheshimiwa babu na mwamba atakutana na wadau wa safari rali na vile vile pia miongoni mwa wageni ambao anaarifiwa wako katika shughuli ile ni Kaimo Mkurugenzi mzi mkuu wa shirika la utangazaji nchini bwana Samuel Maina na moja kwa moja acha tukupeleke pale tusikize yanayojiri So I thought I'd just introduce you to what, what, what will happen during the rally week, uh, which is coming up on the Sunday, 19th of June. Uh, Sunday, 19th of June is when uh, the crews will be coming into rally office to pick up the... Uh, the stickers alivyo katika hoteli hiyo ya Villa Rosa Kempinski mtazamaji hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja kutoka hoteli ya Villa Rosa Kempinski ambapo kuna kiamsha kinywa kati ya waziri Kaimu Mkurugenzi wa shirika la utangazaji nchini bwana Samuel Maina na wadau mbali mbali wa WRC 2023 kama nilivyokuambia wanaadhimisha miaka ya siba na moja kwa moja tunakupeleka katika jumba la Times Tower ambapo rais daktari William Ruto hii leo anatarajiwa kwa miongoni mwa Wakenya ku file returns ale mtazamaji ambapo tuangalie jinsi mambo yalivyo afa tutakuwa tunakujuza mengi kumbuka KRA wanasema siku zote kulipa ushuru ni kuweza a kujitegemea mtazamaji kwa hiyo kama unavona hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja a, katika eneo lile pale na namuona pale aha jumba la Times Tower mambo ndo kama hayo mtazamaji hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja za kiongozi wa taifa Daktari William Samoe Ruto akiweza kufile return zake pale na muona anajaribu kuambiwa mawili matatu na afisa huu wa KRA. Kumbuka mtazamaji vile vile pia wewe kama mkenya kutokana na sheria za nchi kila mmoja anastahili kuweza kulipa ushuru. Ndipo basi kiongozi wa taifa amekuwa katika mstari wa mbele. Kuna wengine ambao watakuwa wanasema sasa rais mwenyewe afanye mimi nitafanyaje? Haya, rais ndio yule pale amerejeshi mkuu Aha anaangalia jinsi mambo yalivyo hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja kutoka jumba la Times Tower rais anaangalia kwenye ile tarakilishi pale ana scroll ajue mkweli mimi mwaka 2000 mimi nilika tu hiki nilika tu alikuwa anataka sana kuona kama ile picha itakuja moja kwa moja nione kama mheshimiwa rais ashaka tu ile asilimia tatu ya nyumba oh bado mpaka ule mswada uweze kupitishwa mtazamaji hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyo hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja kutoka jumba la Times Tower ambapo pia mbona habari yetu Regina Manyara amekita kambi. Haya, tutarudi tena baadaye kule rais akizungumza lakini kwa sasa turudi hapa ndani ya mduara wa Maliwaza tulipe ushuru wetu wa uh, mduara. Uh, Abdala ukimalizia nukta yako kabla tuweze kumpisha Bijulia tueleze je baada ya yale ni nini yaliyotokea alafu twende kwa kamche. Safi mjomba mimi uh, kitu ambacho naweza kusema kwamba inatakikana kuungwaji mkono kwa sababu kwa mfano kama wewe ni mzazi wangu baba na nimekuletea jiko na kwamba kwamba huyu ndiyo Mungu amenibariki naye huyu ndiyo kipezi changu huyu ndiyo ndege wangu huyu ndiyo malkia wangu nimekuletea baba nimempenda wajua wakati wewe umeamka tu na kuipinga bila shaka roho yangu inakunjika naona ni kwa nini 
cha msingi inatakana ufunze mtoto akiwa mchanga ya kwamba ukitaka kuoa inafaa uangalie mchana ambaye tabia zake siko hivi na vile mfunze mwanaume madili mema vile vile mtoto wa kike wakati ambapo ana bale yake inafaa na hivi vile vile afunzwe kwamba wakati utaka kuolewa angalia mwanaume ambaye ameka hivi na hivi Usi, usije ukapelekwa kule kuchochoroni kuchocho, mlete tumjue vizuri hivi na hivi huyo mtoto bila shaka atakutana na mtu mzuri lakini wakati ambapo shakuwa mtu mzima na kuletea mtoto ama na kuletea e, 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 mwanaume ambaye atakumoa mchumbe mchumba wake ndio wewe unaanza sasa vituko vyako na kwamba kwamba utakuwa ume umevunja nyungu hakuna kitu utatengeneza huyo atazidi kulia na hii mimi nakwambia kweli inaweza kuwa laana ambayo inaweza kafuata boma mzima kama hautakuwa na tahadhari katika boma la Allah nukta yako ni ya ukabila peke yake ama pia umeingiza dini dini ni msimamo wako kwa wapi hata dini nimesema kwamba vizuri sana mm. ya, ya kwamba hata dini Mungu ni mmoja. Mm. Ikiwa hawa wame, washapendana, washapendana. Ikiwa yeye ni Mkristo amempenda Muislamu, ni wao wawili kwenda kuzungumza tutaenda tutafuata dini gani? Ukristo wakishaelewana, ni hivyo. Mm. Usije ukasema kwamba mimi natoka katika jamii ya Wakristo, kwa hiyo Muislamu asikanyage hapa. Mm. Mimi ni Muislamu, kwa hiyo Mkristo asikanyage hapa. Na kwambia kwamba utakuwa unafanya makosa kubwa sana. Kwa sababu huyo Mungu ambaye unamwabudu ni Mungu mmoja ambaye Muislamu anamwabudu, Wakristo wanamwabudu. Wewe ukija na, 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 na sheria zako ambazo azieleweki azi, azi, azi basi wewe tuambie Mungu Mungu ambaye unamwabudu Mungu, Mungu yupi ama am Mungu ambaye tupatikana baharini basi twende tukamwabudu kule <laughs> <laughs> na ma, ni Abdala mambo akitibua mambo hapo Bi Julia baada ya yale kutokea mm. ni nini tena kilifuata na hali ilikuwa vipi baadaye Okay uh, kulingana na sasa sisi wawili tuliamua kukaanisha hivyo mm -hmm. tu dugangu amesema tulikuwa dini tofauti alikuwa muislamu mimi kristo mm -hmm. dini tofauti Tuliku, kabila tofauti, tofauti. Uh -huh. so tulikaa chini uh, tukaambiana sasa akaniambia sasa mimi sikutoi kwa kristo uingie kwa dini yangu uh -huh. tufanye tu tusikizane vile tutakavyoka uh -huh. nikamwambia hata mimi sikutoi huko na mimi usinitoe uh -huh. so tukawa na kuongea pamoja na ikawa hivyo so mtu alikuwa anaenda kwa dini yake na mimi dini yangu mm -hmm. na tukakaa vizuri by the way hakuna shinda tuligombana nini mm -hmm. hata wazazi wako wake hawakuwa na shida mm -hmm. so tuliendelea tu vizuri mm -hmm. sasa na hapo tena tukaamua sasa mm -hmm. watoto wakikuja tutaongea kabila gani mm -hmm. juu sasa tuko tofauti na tuna tungetaka wote wajue kabila mbili mm -hmm. so hawenge jua kabila zote mbili mm -hmm. so mwanangu akaniambia in this my house kenye nimeamua no mother tongue mm -hmm tutakuwa kabila moja kabila english ama kiswahili so hata watoto walipokuja hawakujua hata wa leo hawajui waitwe kabila gani so tumo kabila tu moja ya kwamba sisi tunajua kiingereza ama kiswahili kuna swala pia la majina la jitokeza hapo okay, majina uh, majina hata yeyo tuli tuliongea mm. na bwana akaniambia sasa juu mimi tena ni bwana na ni mimi ni kwa juu yako mm. majina ni mimi nitatoa mm. wampunga mama hapa <laughs> najua atafurahia sana <laughs> <laughs> nikamwambia utatoa moja na mimi nitatoa ingine mm -hmm. kwa hivyo alitoa jina ya Uislamu ya kwanza mm -hmm. na mimi naompa ingine ya Kikristo mm -hmm. na ikawa hivyo mm -hmm. kwa hivyo nikaona ile ni hali ya kuelewana mm -hmm. ukambila na dini haikuwangi kwa mapenzi mm -hmm. ni watu wanaiweka mm -hmm. mkiambiana hivi ndivyo mtatembea mwatembea pamoja hakuna bishano mm -hmm. eh. na mkisa kisa chako Julia ch ni cha kutamausha na pia cha kufurahisha maana matokeo mwisho ni kwamba uli, ulipata yale uliokuwa unayataka kabisa uh, swali ambalo naweza kuwa najiuliza pengine kama mzazi wako asingeondoka sijui kama ungeweza kuolewa na huyo ama msimamo wewe kama mwanamke unaona msimamo wako unge ungeopeleka upande gani ungemsikiza baba ama ungefata roho roho imependa <coughs> okay ingekuwa ngumu sana kwangu mm -hmm. juu sasa hapa unapenda babako mm -hmm. na unapenda kumsikiza na kumti mm -hmm. ili ingekuwa ngumu sana mm -hmm. tena pande hii nimepanda kijana mm -hmm. na kwa kweli mm -hmm. hata kama leo niambiwe nioleke kwingine ama nitafute ni, ni, ni mwingine mm -hmm. kabila lingine ama mm -hmm. kabila langu mm -hmm. siwezi nimetosheka mm -hmm. mapenzi ni sawa Mama waona kisa cha Julia kinavojitokeza pale kinamwacha tuseme kama ni msichana ama ni mvulana katika njia panda maana yake iwapo babake asinge asingeondoka duniani angekuwa yuko katika hajui asikilize baba hajui afate moyo. Mm -hmm. Ni kweli kungekuwa na tatizo pale mm -hmm. mara nyingi sisi wa Afrika huamini baba akisema mm -hmm. yani wazazi wakisema 
lifatwe mm. ndio ulikuwa unaona rusia hii na vurutano pale mm. lakini mungu vile alikuwa anabarikia wawe pamoja mm -hmm. labda ndiye katokea kitendo kama hicho mm -hmm. lakini hapa kwa dini nataka turudi mm -hmm. swali muhimu sana mm -hmm. e, kwa sababu unajua kila dini na mila zake no na tabia zake uh -huh. na udesturi wake uh -huh. kama sisi waislamu uh -huh. huwezi wewe kuza watoto kama Julia vile alisema uh -huh. moja we mkristo moja muislamu uh -huh. kwa sababu huyu mume ni muislamu uh -huh. na asha sema pale mimi ningeona tu wengesikizana uwafate kumbu kumbu moja uh -huh. ndiyo yani ya watoto pia wawe na yale mapenzi ya dini uh -huh. manake kama sasa first born uh -huh. ni muislamu uh -huh. anakwenda msikitini uh -huh. second born ni mkristo anakwenda kanisani uh -huh. ambapo kiislamu sisi wakati ukizikwa uh -huh. utazikwa kiislamu uh -huh. na sasa unaona hapo kutakuwa na mvutano huka kake ama huu ni dadake watakuwa kuuliza mbona mami itawasumbua kwanza vile wa Kristo pia wanayo tabia ya kuweka kama ni mtu amefariki wanakaa kama wiki mm, moja wakiata mwezi wataulizia mm. mbona mimi kakangu alikufa ama dadangu akazikwa mapema mm. akiwa mzuri hatishi mm. na mbona sasa huu kakangu ameishi amekaa ameka itasumbua watoto kwenye kitu mm -hmm. ni kweli tunapendana na ni mambo yanazidi mm -hmm. penzi fananisha kwa mapenzi dini yeye jisimamie mm -hmm. kwa sababu dini itafika pahali hata huyu wakati wa kufa kutakuwa na mvutano mm -hmm. wale watataka kazi kwao mm -hmm. na huu sheria huyu ni mke ameolewa sijui pale walioanaje sasa kwa sababu mm -hmm. lakini mama kama shaolewa si inamaanisha atazikwa kwa mume na kidini ya mume manake ashakuwa kwa mume sasa na sasa yeye huenda kanisani umelevi mama. Mm, e, mm, huyu mm. ni kweli ameoleka. Mm -hmm. Lakini mimi nimeoleka mimi ni Mkristo. Kwa hivyo Julia kwako wewe waenda kanisani, mm -hmm. mume mm -hmm. e. Watoto nao kuna wanaokwenda kanisani? Wa kwanza kanisani wa kwanza na baba. Okay, kwa pili si, na mama. Si, 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 si mtoto kitofauti, e. jina. Jina tu. Jina ikianza jina e. hii ya, ya kwanza. Hii ingine si majina mawili ya e. matatu. Mm -hmm. Iyo jina tu. La, na sasa wana wana, 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 budu, wana eh, walinifuata wanakwenda kanisani wanakwenda wana kanisani, kanisani. Na, na mume wa karibika yupo sawa okay eh wacha tu niongee mm. kidogo mm. siku anataka kufunua huko kwingine mm. mm. uh, hayupo mm -hmm. alipumzika mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. alipopumzika mm -hmm. ilibidi sasa ni wapeleke pande ya kwangu. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Lakini lakini kabla pumzike watoto walikwepo tayari. Watoto walikwepo mm -hmm. walikuwa wachanga. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hawakuwa wamefika mali pali pa kuamua mm -hmm. ni kuenda hivi ama kule. Mlikuwa mmelizungumzia hilo watoto wake wakubwa je watakwenda pande upi ama alikuwa e, mtawachia wapi? Yeye yeah. alikuwa amesema yeye atakuwa wa, wa uko kwake. Mm -hmm. Na mimi sikuwa na shida. Sikuwa na shida hapo. Abdallah Nam. sijui kama katika hali ya Julia akajikuta mwingine ambaye pengine wazazi wapo hai wote wawili na kuna anayepinga pale na huku roho imependa maamuzi afanye vipi bila shaka mm. mimi kitu nilikuwa sema kwamba mapenzi ni ya watu wawili mm. vile sisi tusema kila siku mm -hmm. kila mara eh, katika kipindi hichi ya kwamba hesabu ya Mwenyezi Mungu moja ongeza moja ni moja iwezi kwa kumina moja ama iwe mbili ni moja tu itasalia kwa moja mm. inamaanisha ya kwamba mimi nikipenda msichana nitakumuoa yeye ni mimi na yeye tunajua mahali mapenzi yetu yamefika mm -hmm. kwa hiyo anaingilia watatu ni kuharibu mm. ikiwa tana ananipiga ananituma ananifanyaje nishakubali mm -hmm. waniache hivyo hivyo wanaume wengi hata wanabeba watoto kwa mgongo mm -hmm. anapika anaosha anaosha vyombo mm -hmm. afanya nini afua hiyo ni mapenzi yao mm hiyo -hmm. ni nyumba yao usiingilie mm -hmm. kwa sababu huyu msichana labda ye yeah, hapo naona kwamba ndiye ameridhika huyu mwanaume anaona kwamba huyu ambaye ananichukua kama mm -hmm. kama punda ndio nimempenda ndio nimeridhika hapo ukimletea mwingine hata unakuwa kwamba hawezi unajua ya kwamba baraka na bahati bahati ya mtu mm -hmm. inalingana na Mungu ameweka wapi mm -hmm. mtu kuingilia penzi la watu ni makosa sana mimi nakwambia kwamba mke wangu sio kabila yangu mke wangu ni kabila mwingi, kabila kutoka katika eh, sehemu fulani mm -hmm. sio kabila yangu mm -hmm. na wakati nilipeleka nilipeleka 
nadhani kujua wazazi ni swali moja liulizwa peke yake mm -hmm. kuna bibi moja alikuja akamuuliza ya kwamba je anaweza ongea kiingereza kwa sababu kwetu ni kiingereza ndio watu wanazungumza sana wamesoma sasa akaulizwa je anaweza ongea kiingereza je amesoma hadi wapi hiyo ndio swali aliulizwa na ajirani peke yake lakini mama yangu alisimama kidete akasema ya kwamba hili boma mimi ikiwa kijana wangu ataniletea mke mimi nitapenda yule ameleta akasema huyu ni huyu akasema huyu ni mbaya huyu ni mbaya lakini utakuja kupata kwamba kwingine kwa tako hao baba yake ni ni pasta baba yake alikuja akasema kwamba sitaki maswali mengi mimi sitaki watu wamletee e, e, vikwazo vya ki, e, vya huku kwetu mm. yeye yeah, akuje kivi yake jinsi anavyotaka kukuja cha msingi ni wabariki mambo kwisha na mimi umshukuru hadi leo shikilia hapo hapo safi mtazamaji asante sana kwa kuendelea kuichagua runinga ya KBC channel 1 kipindi ni kuzacha kumekucha kamche benza yuko ndani ya studio bimaliwaza ndani mwa mkondo ndani abdullah mambo ndani na bijulia ambaye anatusimulia kuhusiana na kisa hiki na kwa mara nyingine tena tunasema pole sana kwako bijulia lakini vile vile pia kwako mtazamaji kuna funzo muhimu kama tulivyokuambia leo ni mukimo leo ni mseto yani mchanganyiko mchaka mchaka tupata pumziko fupi matangazo ya biashara alafu takaporudi tutaendelea bado tunapiga jicho Times Tower na vile vile pia tunapiga jicho Villa Rosa Kempinski kule ni kulipa ushuru huku masafari rali twende kazi <laughs> Get Skizatune Hail Mary dial star 811 star 963 hash Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen To get Hail Mary dial star 811 star 963 hash star 811 star 963 hash Sundana Sundana Sunset Date goes county this time to the land of opportunities all roads lead to Embu County Sundana will be hosted live from the iconic Isaac Walton Inn with a grand collab Catherine Donye and John Obongo Jr the wicked weekend man and thereafter John Karani JK will keep you on your feet with hits from the 80s and 90s till late Good morning Mr. Walker Country music performances by Kari B. Karaoke sessions with Kid Karaoke and much more fun. No dull moment when Sandana fans get together. Sandana Sunset Date Embu County Edition. Proudly brought to you by KBC English Service and the Kenya Tourism Board on 3rd June 2023 at the Isaac Walton Inn starting at 2 p.m. Entry 500 shillings at the gate. Tembea Kenya, Tembea Embu. ametuahidi la azidi dan laku mtawazidishieni yani iwe itakavyokuwa ikiwa e, sisi ni watu wenye kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu Allah atatuzidishia kwa neema mbalimbali ambazo kwamba tunazijua na zile tusizozijua ikafikia kiwango ambacho nana Aisha radhiallahu anha aliweza kumuuliza hivi mbona wazidisha ibada kwa wingi sana wakati Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amekujalia neema basi mtume Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam alijibu kwa kuuliza je yeah. Sipaswi kuwa mja mwenye kumshukuru Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala ambaye ni Mola wangu.
Have you ever seen a free crispy chicken deep fried yani yani dani ya mafuta? Where have you ever seen free of that? Hey, uh, hey, Michelle, I see you only want the best for me, yeah? How's that? Uh, you see, Michelle, I've been chasing you for close to a kilometer now. If I do that every morning, I'll be in a very good shape in a very short period of time. <laughs> <laughs> Bosira, bosira, bosira. Don't take another bite, man. Don't take another bite. You cannot win twice and eat immediately. Here's your fare. Wana kenya anju, stop changing rules. Wakati ni nasinda. What is it, Kamene? Are you okay? Yongwa kabisa. Yongwa. Will this one help? mtazamaji ni mada nzito ni mada ambayo ina mafunzo mengi kwako mtazamaji nadhani kwamba unaweza kupokea mengi zaidi ambapo tunauliza asubuhi leo ndani ya mduara wa bii maliwaza je ukabila na dini huenda ikawa ni kikwazo cha kuweza kuchagua mpenzi na unaona kauli mbali mbali zinajitokeza kwenye kikao hiki lakini kabla kuweza kumpisha mgeni wetu na vile vile pia wachanganuzi wetu baba tuturudi kwake kamche menza kidogo na yafungue kinywa juu ya swala hili na mtazamaji ni ruhusu tu nipitie jumbe naona mmetuachia jumbe zenu nyingi hapa Albi Mkatoliki Salano ukabila haufai na inafaa kutokomezwa kabisa swala la mapenzi lisiwe la kikabila anatutazama kutoka Vihiga Mago Center uh, Silvesta onchie kwa nasema yes mtu mnaongea lugha mnaelewana ni kama ambaye anasema uangalie mtu ambaye mnaweza zungumza naye e, muelewane uh, John ta Tashar we majina yenu jamani magumu mitandaoni mapenzi haichagui ukabila wala dini ju hata polisi anaweza au mfungwa tena wawili <laughs> yafaa muelewane dini gani mtakuwa mkienda ndio mazungumzo aliyofanya Julia na uh, mpenzi wake wakaelewana kwamba watakuwa wanapelekana upande huu na upande huu uh, Amos Wanyana anasema haifai kamwe hiyo ni tabia uh, ambayo haifai sana Uh, kuna jumbe zingine hapa nilikuwa nimeziona mamkondo sijui kama una kadhaa lakini ngoja ni songe songe hapa uh, Joy Ndegwa alikuwa ameniambia si sawa kuchagua mpenzi ukizingatia ukabila uh, lazima udini uh, lakini udini ni lazima mm. Mm. Joy nimemuona hapa anaelekea upande wa mama uh, sababu ni kwamba lazima tuwe kwa imani moja Anasema two people can't walk together unless they agree. Ana ametuachia pia hapo uh, kifungu fulani anasema Amos 33. Naam. Anasema hata askari gereza anaweza kapita na mfungo. Anaweza tena wawili. Anasema tena hata wawili anaweza oh. <laughs> Kwa hivyo dini ukabila haufai. Kuna jumbe zaidi sijui kama mtaniruhusu niziangalie angalie hapa. Uh, Tupatie mbili tatu. Uh, ha, kidogo tu. Uh, ha. Uh, Maslin Makoha anasema hapo kwa dini bala kabila sio sana most of uh, friends ndo wazao haziwak kwa mmoja amekatazwa uh, kwa sababu ya dini especially Christians na Muslim kuna shida sana uh, um, Quinten Quintet Nyaboka anasema ni sawa sababu kuna kabila ziko na mila za ajabu ajabu ni kama anasema tunakubana kubaliana jinsi watu wanavyo uh, jaribu kuangalia kama utachukua kabila au utachukua dini maana mm. anasema kuna kabila ama dini ambazo ziko na mila za ajabu ajabu ambazo unaweza uh, kushindwa kustahimili Ra, Ramsi Lomula anasema unless you are ready for any strange outcome you should marry Uh, within your tribe and religion you will have unless a uh, task in life assume you are christian and your partner is muslim ah kakamche zuli hapo hapo zuli hapo hapo pole kwa kumradhi kamche kwa hilo uh, mm. unajua kule bungeni kamche wewe wa uko kule huwa kuna communication from the chair si ndio mm. na hapa kuna communication ni mtazamaji from the director Fadhili Athman anasema tuelekee Villa Rosa Kempinski ambapo afisa mkuu wa safari rally kwa sasa anazungumza wacha tusikize Let's appreciate the steering committee. The local organizing uh, committee and before I ask them to wave I want to bring you greetings from the chairman Carl Tundo um, who has been working the whole week in Nairobi so he excused himself today but uh, the local organizing committee led by the vice chairman Brian today if you just want just to wave Thank you very much. 
the secretariat, the experts that you've seen around, um, if you could just stand, because I'm sure um, you deserve uh, to be recognized if we could clap for them. You may be seated. And let me just uh, acknowledge a few people who are meant to speak, two of them, and because of uh, time constraints, I was asked to summarize what they were supposed to say. The Chief Safety Officer, Engineer Norris Ongaro, please, I just appreciate it. The, the head of medical, at the Secretariat, Dr. David Karuri, MBS. Um, Cabinet Secretary, we're here as a team of very, very dedicated people, very, very qualified. And just to mention, I didn't know that one day I will add an organization where my heads of department are either professor, engineer, PhD, doctors, and I'm really honored to be in charge of this uh, team at the Secretariat. Um, let me just mention that we have uh, a special guest, and there's not actually a special guest. We're working very hard to align our policies so that our office in Finland is part of the Secretariat because it's very key when it comes to greening and we are happy to have uh, our head of office in Finland, Maya Russell, you, if you could just stand, uh, you, yeah, Asante Sana. Members of the Fourth Estate, uh, I am so happy with the number of cameras I see around and I'm sure Kenyans will be properly informed of the progress of the rally, the preparations for 2023. And indeed, we want to appreciate the four estates in a big way. We could just give them a warm clap. As I said, today is a day for our partners, and I'll be giving our partners a chance to speak. And after this, we're going to have an address by our chief guest, and we are going to take questions. I know the question of traffic management is already on the lips of many people, and other questions. So just prepare uh, your questions, but based on the order of seniority, allow me to invite the KCB representative to come and say many words. Thank you, Phineas. <clears throat> I don't think I have many words, uh, but thank you for bringing us together this morning to the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Youth Affairs, the Arts and Sports, to the Safari Rally uh, leadership and to teams working, the LOC and the steering committees, to all sponsors, media, good morning. My name is Nkata Mtungi, representing KCB today. Um, greetings from Rosalind Bishiru, a group director of marketing who had another engagement this morning where she was making a presentation. Um, but just a few remarks from us. I think KCB has been part of the sporting fraternity across what for, for quite a number of years, and specific for motorsports. We've been with motorsports for you know 20 years. Um, we started our sponsorship in 2003, um, and we've given and supported sports with a you know 1.5 billion shillings. Um, and specifically this year, we are giving 150 million, which is going towards the Safari Rally, 100 million specific to WRC, um, just to help manage um, and bring this event to life. 
Um, over and above that, we have three drivers that we are sponsoring, Ivan Skavisi, Nikhil, and Karan Patel. And you know, just in line with the greening conversation and what we saw the trees that have been planted, we are actually scheduled to plant 500 trees next week in Naivasha, and we are going, you know, alongside with our drivers um, to Naivasha Primary School next week, um, which is, you know, just supporting the agenda um, by the government agenda by the Safari Rally Committee. So we are very proud to be part of this, and you know, the government putting all of us together, um, together with other sponsors. I think this is something that we've been asking for. So very happy to meet the Safari team, Safari. Uh, home team, Toyota, um, Kenya Airways, who will join us probably. So I think I was asked to mention, you know, what are some of our expectations. Um, for us, it's really ensuring that this run is about the people. Um, we're really happy that the launch is being taken to Uhuru Park. I'm just making it a lot more open. Um, we are very keen in nurturing drivers um, and supporting, and that, you know, has been what we have been for the last 20 years. And also the three drivers that we are putting on, I wish we could do more. But I hope the opportunities will come in where we can also support more drivers. Um, <clears throat> and making this rally truly one for people and putting our drivers on the map so that then they are recognized. The second is mambo yalivyo katika hoteli ya Villa Rosa Kempinski na kama tulivyokuambia leo kuzacha ni teke teke tukitoka Villa Rosa Kempinski kuendesha magari twende Times Tower ambapo kwa sasa kiongozi wa nchi baada ya kufile return zake anahutubia tutsikize personal obligation which I believe by virtue of the office I hold ought to be made visible to all Kenyans as a signal of my commitment to fulfill my duties as a citizen, as a leader, and as president of Kenya. Record that I have always endeavored to be fully tax compliant and to remit my taxes due to government in full, and I try always in time. This exercise is not a mere dramatization or other empty public performance. It is something I believe in wholeheartedly, and it is something I cherish. It is my duty, and indeed the duty of every citizen of Kenya, to pay their share of taxes to enable the government to provide essential public services and goods. This is the only way to lay the foundation for the pursuit and achievement of economic growth, sustainable development, and prosperity that we can all share. Our taxes build our roads, and the entire national transport network build and run our hospitals, our schools, courts of law, and provide defense and national security services. They also finance social safety nets for the vulnerable around our country. Kenyans cannot afford all these services on their own. And the very few who can afford some pay a very high price per unit. Public goods demonstrate the advantages of living in a community and paying taxes enables us to finance the provision of this service. And let me mention that the progress of society is not measured by the few who can afford. It is not measured by the wealth of the few. It is measured by the quality of public goods available to everybody. It is measured by the quality of the roads we can build, the quality of education that we have, the quality of hospitals that we have, the quality of uh, water that we drink. That's how society is measured. And those goods are made available by the taxes we pay. This is why we are mobilizing as many Kenyans and businesses as are eligible to pay taxes and at the same time empowering an even greater number to join the tax 
be a paying uh, bracket. The more the shoulders, the lighter the burden. We must therefore stand together in this endeavor and do our part to keep our country on the path to self-sufficiency and the path of greatness. Although taxes are mandatory and unavoidable, a government that seeks to mobilize tax revenues must inspire confidence that tax administration will be fair, effective, efficient, and that the allocation and expenditure of the finances will be undertaken transparently and accountably in pursuit of agreed public courses and public services. Bila shaka mtazamaji ni hotuba yake Rais Daktari William Ruto akiweza kuelezea baada kuwasilisha fomu yake ya malipo almaarufu kufile return ama filing returns katika makao makuu ya halmashauri ya utuzaji nchi ushuru nchini katika jumba la Times Tower mtazamaji ambapo umeweza kusikia kwamba yanachukua jukumu lile kwanza kama mwananchi ah tunarudi kwake tunarudi kule tumsikize Rais But as I mentioned during the annual taxpayers week Kenya Revenue Authority has some way to go in becoming tazamaji hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja kutoka jumba la Times Tower ambapo rais daktari William Ruto baada kuwasilisha fomu yake ya malipo na sasa basi anaweza kuutubu na kama ulivyoweza kuweza kusikia pale anasema kwamba ule ushuru mtazamaji ambao wewe unaulipa basi ndio unatumika kuweza kujenga barabara katika taifa letu la Kenya kuweza kujenga mahakama zetu hospitali zetu shule zetu kwa hiyo ni wajibu wa kila mkenya kuweza kutekeleza jukumu hilo na atakaporudi mtazamaji e, tutakurudisha tena kule tuweze kusikia katika hotuba yake anayoendelea lakini kwa haraka upesi turudi hapa ndani ya studio ambapo mdwara wa maliwanza unaendelea na tunauliza je pengine sala la ukabila na dini ni kigezo cha kosa mbaratisha mape ah naarifiwa kwamba Rashid na mduara wako tulia twarudi KRA tumsikize mheshimiwa rais the management board and management of KRA need to ask you need to ask uh, ni upepo nasumbua mitambo Uh, lakini bila shaka mambo yatakavyokuwa vizuri tutakuwa tunakuregesha kule tuweze kumsikia kiongozi wa rais akiweza kuutubu punde tu baada kuwasilisha fomu yake ya malipo almaarufu filing return forms mtazamaji kumbuka pia wewe unao nafasi ya kuweza kufanya hivyo kabla kuweza kutozwa mshuru zaidi turudi kwenye mduara wa maliwaza anatumai kwamba sekunde chache nitakazo nazo kama kuna swala hapa linajitokeza uh, bi julia ameweza kueleza vizuri na natumai kwamba bado hajamalizia kueleza kisa chake bado na naarifiwa na kwamba rashid tulia hapo hapo tena tena tuenda safari rally kule villa rosa kempiski acha tusikize kule kunani <laughs> let's keep it up because This is a uh, motor sport it's about safety and uh, let's continue to emphasize in that area and um, we promise as partners that we will do everything in our power to continue supporting the event ladies and gentlemen enjoy the rest of the day thank you Thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, give them a big hand. Um, before Kenya is lands, I will ask uh, our host at the Wildlife Research and Training Institute in Naivasha, where the government has invested or the ministry of sports has invested heavily to be able to run this event dr ruslin to come and say a few words
Thank you very much, uh, Phineas. Uh, the Honorable Cabinet Secretary uh, for Sports, the Arts, and what's the last one? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all distinguished guests, the sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I bring you greetings from the Wildlife Research and Training Institute uh, based in Naivasha, where we have the service park. We are honored to witness the rally uh, firsthand. And I want to confirm that uh, the rally is actually on. Dalili Yamvuani, Mawingu. So to be honored, Mawingu, WRC on the ground, a lot of preparations, it's a beehive of activity uh, we expect uh, to enjoy. Uh, so from the CEO's uh, desk, Dr. Patrick Omondi, uh, his greetings and apologies, he was not able to join us today. He had another meeting, actually two meetings uh, in the lineup uh, this very morning. So our expectation uh, is of course to enjoy uh, like we have done in the past three years, and also uh, to benefit from the... Uh, is there anything like collateral benefits out of the ladder? Yes, we do. And uh, we pledge to support in giving access to the rally drivers and any other kind of logistical support on the ground uh, that you may require. So thank you very much and welcome once more. Thank you very much. Uh, as Kenya has landed, Sesha. Ah, okay, I am told it is landing in a few minutes. Uh, just allow me to welcome a uh, very special guest today. I think the minister is going to make the announcement on a partnership in terms of tele free to air television because Kenyans must get a chance to watch the rally free of charge, courtesy of the government and the ministry. And to, today we are honored to have Samuel Miner, the managing director, KPC. Please do come and share with us. Good morning. I think uh, Waziri has given you breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Waziri, I think um, the first thing I need to say is that this is a great period for us as Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, the 10 years or 11 years I've been KBC, I've never seen a focused attention on KBC when it comes to sports, like what I've been given by the Cabinet Secretary, Abadu Namwamba. And the love and care this young man has shown on KBC is, is unbearable to us. Waziri, we really thank you so much. This young man calls me like three times a day on issues regarding sports and arts and youth. And um, I want to assure you, Waziri, we are not going to disappoint. Waziri has brought hope and um, something that we have always missed, giving to Kenyans the sports. And uh, there is a bigger plan that we are working on. We have been given green light by Waziri that he wants the KBC to be the home of sports and broadcast to Kenyans. With our um, two TV stations, KBC Channel 1 and Y244, with 13 radio stations and eight services. We can assure Kenyans we are going to deliver to your living rooms, to your border borders, Mukiwa Kwa Shamba, Kwa Radio. We are going to give you everything sports. And uh, with the support of the ministry, we are going to achieve great things. 
One of the things that I um, want to assure Kenyans, our signal for KBC is across Kenya. And that is why we are going to broadcast this spot to every corner of this country where the, some sports are for the, and have been reserved for the, for the big people who can access the signal on pay TV. But KBC as a public broadcasting house, we have been uh, uh, told to ensure all Kenyans enjoy the sports. Sports is the biggest brand we can sell to the global community. And Kenya is very good in different sports. So this is an opportunity to market our country. We'll do um, interviews with the teams uh, from all who are participating. We'll talk about the legacy. We have enough footage of since uh, Safari Rally started in Kenya. So starting the countdown, we'll start talking about the legacy of the rally. We'll let Kenyans know the different stages. Phineas is going to give us experts to talk about the rally. We'll do the ceremonial start live on TV at Uhuru Park and broadcast it to Kenyans. We'll do the finish and uh, the, the, the Naivasha or areas. We'll interview drivers and Waziri. We are considering uh, sponsoring Shegu as KBC. Uh, as you know, uh, we, Shegu is one of our own, uh, but uh, we dare say that we are going to support Shegu. And uh, God willing, next year we'll add an extra, but we have decided to support ladies. Uh, uh, because, because we need to support ladies to be at the level of Phineas. And this year we are going to support Shegu, and next year we are going to support another team of ladies. So thank you very much, and expect the best from KBC. Phineas has been with us. We are discussing every day on all technical areas. So continue supporting KBC, and we are not going to disappoint. Asante Nisala. Thank you very much, um, Samuel. I think I, I picked something interesting, and I think we need to appreciate uh, His Excellency, the President, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, for appointing a young minister to head Ministry of Youth. Um, just allow me to invite one and only the national carrier, the pride of Africa, Kenya House Representative, Cheche Sagin. Thank you so much, it's uh, Cecilia, but they also call me Cece. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. My speech will be quite short. We are representing Kenya Airways. We are in gratitude to be able to be a part of Safari Rally again. Um, we've been walking this journey uh, for a while now, so we're super happy to be able to do it again. And we are excited to hit 70 years. Um, it, is been, it has been a journey. Um, this year, up to 2026, we will be sponsoring 30 million um, and in kind uh, to the Secretariat team. We also have been walking the journey with the rally stars, the young boys. Uh, we are sponsoring also 20 million uh, in kind um, as an airline. Um, as Safari Rally celebrates the 70 years as well, we are glad to soon witness uh, the great initiative of planting 700 thousand trees and as Kenya Airs we are excited to support this initiative initiative as well. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to a great safari rally.
Thank you. Let's uh, appreciate Kenya Harris once more. Uh, the governor of uh, Nakuru County, uh, Governor Susan Kehika has sent her greetings and she's ready to welcome all of us to Nakuru County. Uh, before I call the chief guest, Wanawaziri, uh, I just want to do a special thing that is not in the program. In this room, as we celebrate 70 years, we have a few of the people who made um, or who achieved remarkable results in the rally during its days as a World Rally Championship. We uh, are planning, or we are in the final stages of uh, planning to host the Legends Dinner. It's been moved from 10th to 9th. Let us uh, please uh, make this note. And in this room, we have a few legends. I will ask Sylvia King to step up and come to the stage. And we appreciate this nice girl for all our achievements. Please do come on stage. Oh, you make me feel tough, old. Tough girl, tough girl. Um, which years did you take part in the rally? Uh, first rally, 1970, for the Safari Rally. And the last one was 76. And uh, then I walked, turned to the other side, where I became the organization side, and brought in Marlborough for the Safari Rally. And they stayed with us for 11 years. Um, what was your role uh, when you when KCB was coming into the sport in 2003? Okay, we lost the World Rally Championship in uh, 2002, and a new committee was formed with KMSF in 2003, and I was asked, along with Tim Davis actually, to see if we could find a sponsor for the safari because the safari lost WRC, lost its big sponsor. So I was driving up Langata Road home after the office one day. I saw this big billboard saying, we're making a difference, KCB. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, I can help you do that. <laughs> so, and Tim had a nice contact with Terry Davidson, who was then the MD. And uh, he contacted him and he said, we'll contact our marketing department. So. Uh, Michael O'Query was the marketing director at that stage, so we met with Michael and Ken Wamai, who sadly passed away, as you know, last month, I think, and we presented to them the Safari Rally 2003, and it was a long six months project to get them signed in. They were keen, dead keen, young boys, you know, they wanted to get into the rally, but there was more than just um, marketing that had to involve retail and uh, after six months we signed off and KCB became our partners for is it 20 years now guys long time and thank you thank you please appreciate uh, Sylvia King um, I'll call you on stage for a photo uh, in this room I have uh, one cylinder 30. If you could come on stage, please, for a few questions. Surinda, so when did you first participate in uh, the safari? The first safari I did was 1979 with Gary Mahihu. I was in University of Nairobi with Gary, and uh, Gary was a very keen motor sportsman. How many finishes have you registered? I've done eight finishes, 11 safari rallies as a competitor, and the rest as a team coordinator and organizer. So I've done a total of 22 safari rallies. Thanks, I appreciate you, Linda. Thank you very much. Safina, did you do any WRC rally? 
Before two, 2002? Yes. Please come on stage. So, Safina Khan, how many, when did you start uh, entering the rally? In 1999, I managed to enter four safaris uh, and finished all. We actually won the Coup de Gun trophies for four years, and uh, the last safari I did was 2012. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate Safina. And I have uh, another legend. Jim Karumbura. <laughs> so Jim is a familiar name. He's a director of uh, KMSF and also chairman of uh, Motorsports Council. So Jim Karumbura, when did you first enter the safari? I think it's 1987. That's when, I, that's when I started running not safari, but then in 1995, I had done my first safari rally with a Toyota Silica. I finished. Then I did 1998, I did not finish. But the one I remember very well is 1997, when I finished the safari rally and won a group N crash. Yeah. With a Toyota ST185. Correct. That was the best I ever did in rally. Then I continued rally until 2000, and I joined the management of the sport. You're also a former chairman of uh, KMSF. Which year was that? Or which years were those? Yes, I was a chairman of KMSF in 2008 to 2011. But I've been the chairman of my club for the last 10 years. And until somebody wants to take me out, I'm still there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's appreciate Jim Kahumbura. Thank you so much. That, that's part of the legacy of the rally because we are celebrating 70 years. And <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, you don't always get this uh, opportunity, uh, but I entered my first safari in 1993, and I had just uh, joined Mazda. I had returned from Japan where I did my orientation in motorsports for three months. And I went all the way up to 500 kilometers when I retired, but all the same, I got the best performing African rally driver of that year. In 1994, working with Mazda Speed of Japan, I gave Mazda their first uh, safari rally finish since 1973, and I was 13th overall. Um, in 1999, I'm just making it brief, working with the Korean automaker Hyundai Motorsports, I became the first person in the world to win a world title in a world rally championship for Hyundai. What you see today, I started that program and I won the, w, the, the WRC F2 class in 1999, and it was the first for Hyundai. After that, um, uh, Macri, the brother of the late Colin, won in Portugal, which was after the safari, and that's part of the history of the run. In 2000, I drove again, and I was the best performing African crew in 14th overall position. Um, <laughs> thank you. I, I took a break to work for government, actually for the presidency, for the Kibaki presidency. And uh, by 2010, the bird was still itching and I came back and drove in two safari rallies. And uh, you know, in 2010 when I came back, I won a stage. So I am so happy to have won a stage in, uh, 
So thank you very much for giving me that opportunity. Right now, I would like us to be upstanding to welcome our chief guest, the cabinet secretary, Ministry of Youth Affairs, the Arts and Sports, Honorable Abad Nimondo. Thank you so much. Thank you, legend. May we be seated, please. We have turned this place to a house of legends this morning. <laughs> I think we should give all those great Kenyans a round of applause. You cannot mention the history of Kenya. You cannot celebrate the Kenyan heritage without mentioning the Safari Rally. The Safari Rally is interwoven into the very DNA of who and what Kenya is. In fact, rallying is 10 years older than solar in Kenya. Rallying started in this country in 1953, 10 years before we celebrated our independence as a sovereign country. And that is why this year, while we will be celebrating Kenya at 60, Kenya turning 60 as an independent state, we will be celebrating 70 years of rallying, which is truly is an incredible heritage, incredible history. As part of that um, heritage, as part of that very proud history, we are rolling out a program to mark this platinum anniversary, the 70th anniversary. On the 9th of June, we have the legions get together. Perhaps the first time, actually not perhaps, certainly, definitely, the first ever gathering of the legions for this incredible 70 year journey. And we'll come together under the same roof to celebrate those that are here with us today Sylvia King here, incredible Kenyan, Jimmy Kahumbura, we'll be celebrating Phineas Kimafi, Surinda right here. But we'll go all the way down that journey, that memory lane. We want to see the families of Joginda Singh, the families of Sharameta. We want to interact with the Ian Duncans of this world, Vic Preston Juniors of this world, the Kenyans that have really defined this incredible heritage that is part of our very proud history as a country. And that will be the evening of the 9th of June. And on that day, we want to celebrate them we will all be walking down memory lane. You can imagine what it's going to be like to listen to some of the memories, memories shared by um, these great people. And those who have since departed, we are tracking their families, so their families will be with us. So we expect a full house. A week down the line on the 16th of June, we are having a special event as part of our Greening Legacy Agenda. And we are calling it Sports for Climate Action and Wellness. And we are going to gather, this will be the entire staff of the Ministry of Youth Affairs, the Arts and Sports, and our partners and friends. We are going to green a whole section of the Kasarani um, complex sporting ecosystem 
where we are turning a whole corner into a forest as part of this greening legacy. We will be planting trees on that day the whole day, but it will also be a day of fun and that day to continue the celebration of um, the proud legacy of, uh, of the of rally. Earlier this year, I was in Monte Carlo at the start of the WRC series, the Monte Carlo rally, and we spoke very proudly about Kenya as a thought leader, as an action leader in the, on the agenda of sports for climate action. So it is something we are taking very seriously. And during this 70th anniversary, we want to elevate Kenya's position in uh, leading from the front, in taking deliberate, intentional, structured action around climate action. But ahead of all those activities, on Friday next week, the second day of June, His Excellency President William Ruto will officially flag off the 70th anniversary celebrations at State House. And we will be inviting a number of you to join us for a special ceremony, a special occasion, when uh, Phineas, you have to turn the Commander-in-Chief of the Republic into a rally legend in one day. <clears throat> so we are not taking the platinum anniversary lightly. 70 is not something to take lightly. I mean, 70 is special. Even biblically, 70 is a special, uh, uh, special year. And so a lot more will be happening as we celebrate this. But of course, as we do that, it is absolutely critical that we deliver a rally like no other for the diversity of our rallies. We have uh, put in place what we believe to be a good package. I really want to thank everybody who is part of the planning process. I want to thank our steering committee, which I chair myself, the local organizing committee, which is chaired by another rallying legend, Carl Flash Tundo, and the secretariat that is headed by yet another legend, Phineas Kimathi here, and all of us that are part of these preparations. We are not leaving anything to chance. They say failing to plan is planning to fail. And that is why we are paying very keen attention to every single detail. Waswahili wanasema safari ya kesho, upangwa leo, na ukiona viaelea, vimeundwa, na visipoundwa, havielei, na vikielea, vimeundwa. So, for us to make it happen, for us to make sure that we deliver an incredible rally, we have to invest ourselves in it. And it must be all hands on deck. From the work people like Govi are doing to make sure that the course is ready and all the logistics that go with that. It's a very technical exercise. I've learned a lot <laughs> interacting with Guri and his team. It must be all hands on deck. To the team that is leading um, processes like security, safety, crowd control, traffic, led by Commissioner Julius Kaviru here, a very fine officer, a great Kenyan. We make sure that we must make sure that everything is clockwork. It's moving like clockwork. In the last couple of edition, couple of editions, we had a, a lot of challenges with traffic. 
we inconvenienced both the rally enthusiasts and other road users. It, it was actually nightmarish. And this year, I have asked uh, Kabiru and his team that is controlling traffic, safety, and crowd control that we must get it right. We must make sure that traffic is flowing and that there is safety and that crowd control is absolutely top notch. But this morning, we are here to celebrate partnerships. Because the one thing that is part of the legacy of running is the spirit of partnerships coming together to deliver this. And that is why we have come together to thank those who are partnering with us this year for this platinum um, anniversary, but who are also actually part of this proud history, this proud heritage. I want to applaud in a very, very special way the Kenya Commercial Bank. For being a dedicated partner. And as we celebrate 70 years, we are also celebrating 20 years of KCP consistently, persistently, and equivocally supporting the rally, including critically during the time when this rally was frozen out of the out of the WRC series, Asante Nisana, Kenya Commercial Bank. As we say, it is for for people for better, for people for better. I also want in a very special way to thank Toyota, who are now called CIFA. We need to start getting used to that. And we are told CIFA is now bigger, better, swankier. Now it is CIFA. <laughs> but I want to thank you for, again, being a very consistent partner uh, with Randy. Uh, we appreciate the support you give that enables some very critical work to be done. The cars that Govi and his team are using to do Reiki and just make sure that the course is okay, those are your cars and we don't, we don't take that for granted. Asante Sana Toyota Sifa. <laughs> we appreciate in a very special way uh, Safaricom who are providing support in an area that is also very useful uh, for the agenda we have. And um, we are working with the Safari Corps in many other areas, including in football and other aspects. And we are happy that Safari Corps is on board for this legacy rally and also moving forward. We appreciate, in a very special way, the pride of Af the pride of Africa, Kenya Airways. Tunashikuru Kenya Airways. I love to say that Kenya Airways is our ambassador extraordinaire. You know, any time you land, whether it's at Heathrow or at Skiffall or at any airport in the world, and you see that wing painted in bold, okay, <laughs> bold the Kenyan colors, you just feel yourself. I mean, you feel the pride coursing through your veins, okay? And Kenya Airways in the skies is part of what brand Kenya is. And we are very, very happy that Kenya always is part of this. I proudly, consistently, stubbornly fly Kenya always, proudly and uh, unapologetically, and then encourage all of us to fly Kenya always and be proud of this amazing Kenyan brand. <laughs> Asante Sana, the pride of Africa. And we want you to remain the pride of Africa and you know what it takes to remain the pride of anything. 
So you must remain the pride of Africa. And we are happy that you are part of this. Let me also thank um, the Wildlife Research and Training Institute that is actually our host in, uh, in Naivasha. You have provided a home for the rally, Asante Sana, both for the work you do and for the partnership. And um, last but not least, certainly not least, I want to appreciate in a very special way the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, KBC. And KBC, right from the days of the Voice of Kenya VOK, you are part of this incredible story. You know, as little human beings, even before we interacted with TV, we interacted with the rally through radio. Okay, and the radio, I mean, you will not see anything, you just hear the broadcast and the, the drama behind the mic, but you still feel the adrenaline <laughs> of the rally through the broadcast of the voice of Kenya. And I'm glad that KBC is now part of uh, celebrating this legacy, and now KBC is the signature uh, uh, media house that we are using to send a message that we want the Kenyan media to take a prominent place in profiling what is Kenya. And I have thrown a challenge to all our media houses, which I repeat here. KBC, Royal Media, KTN, NTV, all of you, TV47, K24, I'm challenging you. We have opened the door for you to populate this space. Please take over this space as Kenyan media. Um, we have so many of us on our table from foreign broadcasters who want to partnership with us in the area of sports, in the area of the arts, but we are holding back because we want our Kenyan local media houses to take charge of this space and let everyone else take their feed from you but take the original feed to broadcast what is Kenya. We cannot be celebrating 60 and we have a broadcaster from a neighboring country taking the original broadcast rights for something that is so, so Kenyan in history and heritage. And then you say you are proud to be Kenyan. I find a problem with that, a serious problem with that, forgive me. Uh, and so, and I must say, the Kenyan media is the most vibrant media of this continent, with no doubt. The most vibrant media of this continent is Kenyan media. There used to be a broadcaster who used to broadcast um, live football in Kenya as a foreign investor, they moved to a neighboring country. But even when they moved out, the entire human resource that runs their operation is Kenyan. It's a Kenyan, it's, a, it's, a, it's the Kenyan system running that operation. So why can't you good people, you great Kenyan media fraternity, why can't you take over this space? And government is saying, we are ready to support you so that we can build this legacy together. We are ready to flag off the rally. His Excellency the President is ready to flag off the rally. I'm informed that uh, at the close of the entries, we had 35 cars, Phineas, confirmed entries, really, really top class entries. I've just been looking at the list of the names, as big as they come. Big, big names coming from across the length and breadth of the, of the globe for the rally. That is for the main WRC segment. But for the national championship, which will be part of that program, I'm informed that we are targeting to have at least 50 entries. So it is going to be a very rich, a very rich uh, list of uh, 
competitors. We want to ensure that um, as this great spectacle rolls off the ramp, all our partners must get value for money. We want our partners to get value for money. Okay, KCB, Toyota, Kenya Airways, Safaricom, KBC, we want all of them to get value for money. But this is something I believe we are guaranteed. Because in terms of eyeballs, I'm informed that the Safari Rally is also perhaps the most watched of the, is it 13 or 14 finishes? The most watched of the 13 rounds of the WRC is the Safari Rally. So in terms of eyeballs, both locally and globally, you are actually guaranteed some incredible, uh, incredible uh, opportunity to be seen all over the world and across the country. We have introduced um, what we are calling the Hustler Bazaar, which is uh, something that is now part of our sporting ecosystem. What the Hustler Bazaar is, is um, a customized space for our traders to interact with sports. It is part of our Talanta Hela uh, agenda of monetizing sports, monetizing talents, commercializing sports, and making sure that sports become a key economic driver. And in the Hustler Bazaar, for those of you who have been able to see what we have done with other events, we have done it with the Magical Kenya uh, Golf uh, Tournament. And for the first time, we had Ushanga traders and maize rosters and other traders take their trade to the green manicured golf lawns of Modaiga Golf Club. It was quite a special, a special occasion. And they did good business. I personally visited the, the bazaar, interacted with some of the traders there, and they did good business. And as the great golfers golfed and took a break, they would walk into the bazaars and take away some beautiful Kenyan products from the Hasla Bazaar. Most recently, we did it at the Kipkeino Classic at Kasarani, again where we had the Hasla Bazaar. And as the incredible menu of athletics went on in the main stadium, we had a lot of trading activities going on in the Hasla Bazaar outside the stadium. And for the Safari Rally, we're going to have a Hasla Bazaar at the flag off point at Uhuru Park because we have returned the, we have taken the rally flag off to Uhuru Park because we want it to be truly a people rally. There'll be a bazaar there. There's going to be a bazaar in Ivasha. There are going to be bazaars along the highway. So we are going to provide spaces in different places where our traders can make money. Pesa Mfukoni for our hustlers while this great event is going on. So support the Hustler Bazaar and I'm happy that uh, Kenya Commercial Bank is supporting the Hustler Bazaar in a very deliberate and very intentional way. Asante Nisana. While that is going on, the Hustler Bazaar is not just about selling things. The Hustler Bazaar is also about uh, entertainment. Our creatives are in there, music, comedy, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, other activities that go on in the Hustler Bazaar. Um, we are also, of course, to launch the Broad Talanta Hela program, which is um, the signature for all this, Talanta Hela is a, a legacy <coughs> initiative of government. And uh, I already mentioned that the president will be flagging of the 70th anniversary of uh, the rally at State House. That will also, will actually be part of the, a broader program 
when the president will be unveiling the Talanta Hela Initiative officially that Sunday or the second day of, uh, of June. And so I believe we are ready. Um, we appreciate this partnership and we want to walk this journey together to deliver an incredible experience. To the world that is preparing to come to Kenya for this rally, let us send a very clear message that we are ready. Kenya is incredibly um, hospitable and we have incredible staff to offer the people coming to visit here. The ministry is running a program, a special project we are calling Sports Safari. And so as you come for sports, we also have a package together with the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife that showcases the beauty of Kenya to the world. And so we tell you, Karibu Kenya, the land of Hakuna Matata, this is that land. And we are welcoming the world to come and be part of this incredible experience. Now we will conclude by me inviting the CEO of the WSS Safari Rally Secretariat, the legend Mr. Phineas Kimathi, to receive the official support from government. Government is proudly the biggest sponsor of this event and um, we are very happy that um, we have continued to offer consistent support and will continue to do so. Because of the very hard economic times and we are the exigencies of austerity, we are providing support that is actually half of what was spent on this rally last year. We believe that uh, even with the tight economic times, the team will still be able to deliver a memorable event. And I want to thank your team, Phineas, and the Secretariat for agreeing to live within the tight means that we must all live in. We are all tightening our belts. And um, even as we do that, what is important for Kenya must go on. So if we could get some uh, help to get this uh, uh, sit now, uh, uh, away from here, the podium out of here. And then we'll have uh, we'll have the presentation, or in front, or in front. Okay. And um, Phineas, I think we we'll ask um, one of your legends to join you. Um, Sylvia, please join uh, uh, join uh, Phineas in receiving support of government, which is one billion four hundred and eighty-six thousand shillings. I come this side. What? I hope the income tax don't come after me. <laughs> you, Sylvia, just became a billion. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Serena, please, on behalf of the steering committee. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Jaina, like Jimmy. Thank you very much. Jimmy? Ah, uh, Jimmy's here. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Santa Sana, that is the support of government. 1.4 billion shillings to support these legacy events. Uh, Santa Sana, and as that goes on, let me also. Um, okay, billionaire in town. <laughs> Thank you very much.
<laughs> yeah, as that goes, and let me just also confirm that uh, we are very keen to see participation of young people in this rally, and we thank KCB for supporting the youngsters. We, th we thank Safaricom for, for, for the support. And um, we have also offered support. Besides the support, we have offered support for a team of female drivers. I want to thank KBC for supporting uh, Pauline Shem to race, but government is also putting out an all-female crew to participate in this rally. And we are encouraging young ladies, young girls, you want to rally, we want you to be part of this incredible experience of rally, and government has a special program to support ladies and to support youngsters to be part of this rally. As I tell you, son. Thank you, Waziri. Let's appreciate Waziri. Now I'm back to Bara bara kabisa mtazamaji kwa hivi sasa ni sane kasirobo mda wetu leo umeliwa na safari rali na vile vile pia umeliwa na kufile returns mtazamaji basi kufikia hapa hatuna budi kufunganya virago vyetu amekuwa waziri wa michezo mheshimiwa babu na mwamba akielezea mambo mbali mbali kuhusiana na mashindano ya WRC na amenichekesha sana waziri anasema zama hizo za VK hata kabla runinga kuja mashindano haya yalikuwa kwenye uh, radio wakati ule unasikia kina Leonard Mambo Mbotela basi uh, gari anapeleka pale fadhili mpaka unasikia yenyewe ni mashindano mtazamaji basi kwa niaba ya wenzangu Kamche Menza Maliwaza Abdalla Mambo na vile vile pe Bijulia mtazamaji utatuia radhi kwa sababu ile mada yetu bado haijafika hata wakia licha ya robo kwa hiyo Ijumaa ijayo tutaendelea ambapo tutakuuliza mtazamaji kwenye kuzacha je dini na kabila ni kigezo cha watu kupendana kwa niaba ya wote waliofanikisha kuzacha asubuhi ya leo asanteni sana mafundi wa mitambo wapiga picha waelekezi na kwa kumtamazamaji jina langu etwa Rashid mamkondo kwa herimi